And greetings, everyone. I am Resplendent Seraph, and today we're going to play Earthbound. And I am indeed Mirthbound for more Earthbound. That actually is a really good title. Shit, I should have thought of that. <laughs> How is everyone? Uh, sorry for the extra minute or two. I had to deal with something for my cat. As usual, I get fired up, get ready to start, and uh, then immediately goes, Hey, I was good, but now I want some attention. So yeah, my, my feeling co-host. Uh, but turns out all she was doing was meowing at a lizard that she's now cornered on the patio. Uh, and it's up high and I can't save it because it runs from me too. So I'm like, okay, you're the cat's problem now. <laughs> yeah, I won't tell. You can quickly update the stream title. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm good, good, you know? you know? And you know what? We, we could tell. It, hey, we'll, we'll take suggestions on this channel uh, and, and, attribute, uh, and attribute credit where it is rightfully delivered, Darkstar. How is everyone on this lovely Saturday afternoon? Uh, I love that. Yeah, Earthbound for more Earthbound. <laughs> That's brilliant. I wish I'd thought of it. <laughs> wish I'd thought of it. Properly caffeinated. Yes, I am indeed properly caffeinated. Uh, I'm glad you are as well. It seems like it's kind of had to go around. Greetings, Ghosty. Do a crew. Do a quick, brief uh, number of shoutouts here before we get started. Um, but yeah, greetings, everyone. Uh, let's see. Sorry, I literally just ran back upstairs. Like, oh crap. <laughs> Uh, I need to be, <laughs> you need to be caffeinated. It's time to get some more uh, caffeination, see? Uh, caffeination, uh, blah, blah, blah. Jeez, I clearly need more caffeination. Let's try and speak one more time. Okay. <laughs> Darkstar needs to be caffeinated. So does Seraph. Uh, <laughs> CH. Darkstar, there we go. Finally, I could type. <laughs> Words, how do they work? I will let you know when I'm truly and more and more properly caffeinated. I see you're still playing uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I still haven't finished Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, I've had like four cups of coffee. <laughs> so funny enough, Seraph is not a coffee drinker. I, I just never... Um... Oh, Ghosty's already got it because I started talking. Well, thank you, Ghosty. I appreciate it. See, this is why I... This is why I made you guys mods. <laughs> um, I started watching Freakbot's playthrough of... Um, of New Vegas, but of course I was trying to work at the time and yesterday was not the day to be catching up on VODs while I was working. Oh my goodness, no. Yesterday was crazy at work. I love my job, but yeah, there are some days where it just gets completely bonkers and it's just not in the cards. And so, oh. genius Seraph. So you guys just watched me rub my eyes like a moron I was just petting the cat downstairs, trying to tell her not to go after the lizard. And now I'm having an allergic fit. That's awesome. I am so dumb. Oh, because I have a cat. Oh my God, and you're rubbing your eyes again. Stop it, Seraph. Okay, let's put your hands down. <laughs> okay, when you're allergic to your own cat, what not to do? What I just did on camera. So this is going to be a blind <laughs> Yes. It's going to literally be a blind run. No, I'm going to, uh, I'll, I'll get over it pretty quick. I just got to not touch my face. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm going to try and not touch them so they don't swell up because yeah, this is going to be fun. At the very least, the early stages of this should be fun. So at the very least, we're off to Ricky Bobby. I don't know what to do. With my hands. Okay. Serve to not touch your face. <laughs> All right, sorry. Right, let's let's try this again. Welcome, everyone. While we're letting the chaos already unfurl and derail me here, uh, we're gonna play some more Earthbound. We are Earthbound for more Earthbound. Thank you, Darkstar, for the title suggestion. We need to get to the cone. Of <laughs> I would thought you were about to go with the cone of silence. I've been watching some Get Smart. I uh, recently finally picked up the the DVD set of that. I think we were. I was watching Rob play. Uh, Namco and Capcom is like, I'm going to finally get that. And it's as good as I remember. Mel Brooks was a genius. Uh, but yeah, the Cone of Shame 2, just to keep me from touching my own face. Oh my goodness gracious. So last time we played Earthbound on my birthday, hmm, we got through the first two areas, basically. We got through Onet and we got through Tucson. We have rescued Paula. We've defeated Car Painter. And we have secured the first two sanctuary locations. Uh, Giant Step and Lily Put Steps. I think it was Lily Put Steps is the one we got just now. And so we're going to try to get our way back to Tucson, and then we need to get to Threed. 
but there's going to be a very interesting way that we're going to get there. And so, without any further ado, or any other craziness, <laughs> let's, uh, let's get this, let's get the show on the road. Oh, good grief, Seraph. Oh. I am not normally this allergic to my cat. Oh, oh God. Um. <laughs> Okay, perfect. There we go. Now we got Earthbound over running here. Perfect. That's looking good. Yeah, we'll just let it be the 21-9 ratio. That's fine. We'll let the other stuff stay. Alright. Pa 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 pa! So we're already level 20. I feel like that's appropriate for where we're at. Okay, yep, we're here. We're good here. What am I doing? Okay. Do apparently. Alright. Let's take a look here. Goods. Status. Yeah, you've got a little damage, nothing too crazy. My local volume's a little on the loud side. Let's turn that down a little bit. Oh wow, Paul is uh, pretty hurt. So let's take a look at Do we have something normal? Nope, we don't. That's okay. We're just gonna sleep real quick. Actually, let's talk to this guy. <laughs> of course, Pokey stole all the food from the food stand. Guy is such a dork. Hey, we need to do that tier list sometime, Freakbot, that we were talking about as far as um, most hated or vile NPCs in gaming history. And I need to get serious with getting, um, please forgive my lecture earlier. You know, welcome to stay free of charge. Would you like to stay? Yes. Let's, <laughs> yeah, no, no, no more blue, blue chance. Uh, I also need to get my uh, acting gear as far as Final Fantasy VII Remake. I would love to be able to play Rebirth once that comes out for Steam, and I don't think it's going to be all that long, because Remake took about a year to come out on PC, but supposedly... Meager Living Fun. Yep, Living's available. Now we can go through Peaceful Rest Valley and get help back in here, and I think there might be a charm bracelet or something. But now we should be much more equipped for all this nonsense. I don't remember what's in here, but I think it's going to be mushrooms. Actually, I think we're lucky that we didn't encounter anything there. Nope, Yofo, you are not ambushing me. Yeah, we're just going to do a bash. Good. Not a beam that causes nighttime stuffiness. Yep, well, okay. Yeah, we've leveled up a little bit. Now we killed them in one hit. Woohoo! Yeah, there's nothing there. I think at this point I could just leave. I don't think I got... I don't think I needed to pick up anything here. Although I don't remember if we went all the way up into that corner yet. This... Yeah. Oh, okay. You're only doing one point of damage to Paula now. Sweet. And of course, you're... This is good old turn base. Oh, shit, Paula. Okay, then. Yeah, we're, we've passed the point where Paula just levels up every time we do any kind of damage to something. Oh, fuck this tree. I almost wonder if it makes sense to run away from this thing. But now let's do it. Good. We killed the mobile sprout. Yeah, it can do some pretty serious damage. The problem is fact that it explodes when we kill it. That's going to do a lot of damage to us. Yep. Okay. But as I said, the first dream, when you got that rolling hit point counter, yeah, it did lethal damage to Paula, like 200 points of damage or something, but it only got a chance to do 20 of that damage because battle ended before it really uh, stopped. Got a chance to calculate. That's all right. I have no 
this. Heal up Paula. That. This better be good. Hard hat. Okay, I will take it. We could have done that the first time around, but I was concerned because we were running low on hit points, running low on resources, run definitely running low on side points. Oh, I thank you for following Weed and Sun. I appreciate the follow. Welcome. We're playing Earthbound. I was just regaling our previous stream where we went through here and we didn't have a whole... Eh, let's try and avoid that fight. Yeah, we're not going to be able to avoid that fight. <laughs> Here we go again. I almost wonder if I should just run away from this crap. But, eh, let's do it. It's nothing. Rumble spout. <laughs> More fire damage. And of course, the f trees take so much fire damage. <laughs> yeah. Lethal damage. Lethal damage. But not that it matters. We're just gonna hit a bunch of buttons and. Get our XP and get the hell out of there. I'm not thrilled with the fact that we encounter so many territorial oaks. Let's see if Seraph remembers the way out. And by now, yep. Well, oh, we don't have to. Ooh, yes. Ah, shit. These guys are going to counter us. You know what? Let's life up Paula anyway. We need that butterfly. I mean, we don't need the butterfly. Ah, oh, I love this theme. Yeah, we'll just bash these guys. There it is. I love the, the descriptions. Caused a beam that causes nighttime stuffiness. <laughs> Fortunately, we don't really need a whole lot of cough medicine. Yeah, always kill the oaks last. Always, yeah. If you make the mistake of killing an oak first, it's game over. It's true. Oh, we gained a level. Ooh, and our IQ went up by three. Nice. Ah, that really is good. Okay. Butterfly. Butterfly. Hey! <laughs> Worth it. But in the meantime... Oh, right. Heal. All up. She got over cold. That's the nice part. If you forget like I just did there, uh, it does flash red to let you know that some members of your party are taking damage as you walk. Battle against a machine. Yep. Blue, blue. Oops, I won't say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of apology. I'm just trying to help. And it is helpful. We don't have to go through that entire mess of the valley again. So we can just kind of get out of here. Just try to avoid dealing with mushrooms that confuse us. But if we do get confused, we could just come back here. We could sell the mushroom to her. The Earthbound OST is so amazing. It's one of the best soundtracks of any game that I can think of. It's amazing. Oh, we didn't kill it immediately, huh? I'm actually surprised we didn't just kill this thing outright. Oh, Ness. Nice job. You cost us three side points by missing, dude. This is a great game to stream because I can just hang out. It's turn-based. <laughs> we don't have to fight all of them, at least. In this case, we're killing the mushroom first. I don't really feel like getting confused. And side points, we'll recover them. All due time. Yeah, these, these mushrooms are just annoying. Or these uh, mobile sprouts are just annoying. I wish they would just attack me, because they do negligible damage. They're much more annoying when they're draining your side points. And so this is also why I didn't rent the bicycle. Because at this point, we wouldn't be able to ride the bike anymore anyway. Yeah, fine. Let's recover side points. We're still going to probably have to fight these things, and then we'll be back in Tucson. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, not a big deal. Fire, since they're on the same row. Oh, well, Paula just killed both of these guys. <laughs> yes, she did. Cool. 
I don't have to worry about being confused at all. Give me XP. You. Oh, and we'll... Yeah, sure, we'll take a ketchup packet. So, also in this game, um, and I don't think you could get rid of the bike once it's in your inventory. So I think you can, you can, um, what you could do with the bike, right, you can't just, like, get rid of it, but you can call your sister and uh, get the bike put in storage, I think. But then again, she may not let you by some sort of, like, I can't carry that, because with Escargo Express, you're not talking to her directly. Um, the courier may look at that and be like, I just can't carry it. So yeah, it's, it's a real problem. I'm um, glad to see you so healthy. Because yeah, when you're dealing with inventories like this, this is your inventory. This is the limited space you have to deal with. Granted, now we've got Paula, but it kind of sucks when for the rest of the game, you now essentially have one inventory slot left, less being spent on an item that you can't use. And so uh, uh, let's, you know what, let's give the ketchup packet to Paula. Uh, and now one of the cool things is with ketchup packets, is what this game condiments actually enhance certain other foods. So if you eat a hamburger and use the ketchup packet, it will make the hamburger much more useful. Now my attitude most of the time is another actual item is probably better than that. But there are some combinations of, I'm thinking about catching a bus to three. I heard there are ghosts along the way. Yep, if we take the bus, it's gonna turn us around. In fact, why don't we just do that real quick just to show you kind of what that looks like. It looks like the next bus will come pretty soon. Oh, do I have money? I may not have taken money. I have money for this. Let's do it. I'm not sure if we can get there or not. The fare's four dollars. Yes, yeah, so let's go. Because while it does that, I could explain a couple of things here. Uh, so yeah, most of the time I find condiments are not usually worth it. Although there are a couple of things where the condiments are incredibly useful. I think there's a glitch late in the game where if you use a condiment on rock candy, it'll only expend the condiment and not the rock candy. So you can essentially just exploit that and boost a lot of your attributes. But I don't remember exactly how that exploit works. And it's only with one of the condiments. Yep, there are our ghosts. But still, the condiments are neat when you pick them up. We'll use it. But I don't know if I would ever... <laughs> and there we are. And so that's what happens when you try to go to three. Now, for some reason, the bus returned to Tucson. Yep, just like I thought. Okay, I'm starting to get the creeps. We're going back to the bus station. Uh, yeah, you can let me off here. <laughs> and that's the end of that. So yeah, we cannot get to three. So even if we had tried to get to three earlier, it wouldn't have worked. Oh, we got to deal with this asshole. It's creepier when you walk the tunnel and get swarmed by ghosts. Yes, it is. I've done that. It is, de it is way creepier. The annoying old party man. <laughs> I love the, some of the things. It's like, that is a precursor to the 5th edition bard with vicious mockery, where they just talk shit to you and your guts goes down. <laughs> That's probably, yep, and now he turned back to normal. <laughs> yeah, in this game, you usually don't kill your opponents. You're usually either making them tame or um, turning them back to normal. Nice. Yeah, we don't need the butterfly. We're still max. Oh, come on. And yeah, we got to deal with a cop and some freaking dogs here. Cop and its cohorts attack. Yeah. We're going to bash you, and I'm going to fire everybody else. Cool. So when they make a loud piercing howl, it's just a wasted turn. And there's some enemies where it just says, it does nothing. <laughs> Which is amazing. That's... Right, you guys... Yeah, we didn't get any XP, really, for that. I kind of got negligible XP for that, because they're just not of a level here. You know, I probably should have said no, so he dropped me off at the bus station, but whatever. All right, so we got Apple Kid. We invested in Apple Kid. You can invest in Orange Kid, but you'll just get a bunch of useless shit. He's smiling. So we're back at the Polestar Preschool here. You need to put the item you want to reuse at the bottom of the character's inventory and use the item and condiment in battle. That's, that's right. That's the exploit. That's how you get a free burger out of a ketchup packet. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, there are some pretty neat exploits, right? And it only works in battle. It doesn't work out of battle for some reason. 
When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. Thank you for saving Paula. You're my hero. Talk to her mom. Yahoo, I knew it. You saved Paula. I don't really understand it, but I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. <laughs> I know, I'll call it a hand-aid. Ness got the hand-aid. Did you meet Dad? He's sorry that he suspected Mr. Everidge at a Berglund Park. Paula's like a mother to me. You may not be able to cover in my imagination. I might have a baby face, but I possess a mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. <laughs> the dialogue of these NPCs is hilarious. There's, there's her dad. Oh, Paula. Yes, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In Threed, the next town, we'll meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. <laughs> it's like, who's the parent here, right? Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry. I won't cry anymore. I don't think there's anything else to add up here. We already got what there is to add up here, right? Nope, we didn't. Let's open the present. There's a teddy bear inside. Let's take it. Yep, well, we'll take that teddy bear. Let it get its ass kicked for a little bit. We could always buy teddy bears again later. Goodbye, Paula. Don't worry. I won't cry anymore. Yep. It says, all right, so now we go see Mr. Everdread. Forward the apology. Oh, and there's a sneeze. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ow. Excuse me, pardon. <laughs> Hello, Ness. Everdred is looking for you. He's got something for you. Oh, why I decided to have a cat, despite the fact that I'm allergic to them, I don't know. Although normally I don't have an allergic fit like this. Berglund Park seems kind of dangerous. I'm to talk to you. There's this dude. He's giving the message. Yep, he has a present to give you. Please. I don't think there's anything else in here we need to buy that I can think of. So let's just go see Mr. Everdred here. Advance the plot. This dude's cool. I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept it, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Totally sus. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you like. You can't refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil Manamani statue that, Lear ex ex that liar exaggerate unearthed in Onet. <laughs> I'll see you in another time, in another space. Now, why he would look for the evil Manny Manny statue, who knows? You'd think, even being a shady character, he would know better than to be near that but thing, but whatever. Hm. And of course, that's not the last we'll see of Everdread. We'll eventually see him again. Dog. At this point. You were the girl today. You must be pretty popular. How about introducing her to my bandmate? He's right there. So, of course, these are the totally not Blues Brothers. Hey, you came with Paula. Then you deserve a present, playboy. Here's a backstage pass. You can get into our shows with this. Paula got the backstage pass. Perfect. Time for another picture. Picture's taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, say Fuzzy Pickles. <laughs> Dr. Demento returns. What a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. I actually have some Dr. Demento tracks if uh, Twitch wouldn't completely fry my... Uh... Hello, please present your ticket. Oh wow, we have all this shit. Yeah, we got our water bills and a backstage pass. So one of my previous playthroughs, I actually had $10,000 at this point of the game, but it wouldn't let me actually give the money to the manager. Very annoying. But, and the way they do that is you have to have, you have to bring Paula with you because you need the backstage pass for this dialogue to kind of process. No room for me to show off my latest dance moves. Hey, you kids, how did you get tickets? What are you, the owner's kids or something? I know, we're friends of the Runway 5 now. 
You know, I think it's pretty tacky to entertain our company's business partner by taking him to a Runaway 5 show. But since I'm new to the company, I better just toe the line. My boyfriend lost a ticket that I gave him on, of course, yep. He's waiting outside the entrance. He's got butterfingers, but he's nice. <laughs> hey, 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 don't get too close to me. I just, oh, farted. <laughs> nice. Oh, Earthbound, stay classy. You kids are bouncing around, talking to everyone. It's getting annoying. Now, I don't remember what happens if I just talk to her first. You like baseball? Yeah, I knew it. Your cap gave it away. Lucky of the Runaway 5 told me I could go backstage, but I don't have a pass. I'm sure security will stop me. Hey, really? You have a pass? I can't believe it. Can you take me with you, please? Please, please. And we can't say no to this little girl. I can pose as your sister. Yes, this rocks. Let's go. Ooh, my heart is pounding. And then in we go. There go these guys. Hey, you get to see our show, you lucky kid. I hope you pay attention. Well... Yeah, in the old days, there was lots of dancers and acts at this theater, except now we're the only act playing here. We even gone into depth here, so we're pretty near stuck. Folks of Tucson will enjoy the Runaway 5 show for quite a few years. Looks like that to me. Chada do wab dee do wab I got these debt blues. Mm. If I had $10,000, I could pay off my debts and move on to the next town. I wonder if our bus still runs. It may be rusted out. Convenient about that money, huh? I wrote the lyrics to most of the Runaway 5 songs. Money, that's what I want. Money, it's what is hot. Money, it's what I want. Money is what we ain't got, except freedom. Freedom, freedom is what we've really sought. I want some bread. I need the coinage. I want more dough all the time. These guys are pretty cool. So now we've got this unavoidable uh, show scene. Yeah, that's right. Tonight, you got the Chaos Theater's Soul Men coming at you, rocking and rolling live on this here stage for a limited time only. The world's greatest blues men, the Runaway Five. And here they come. Oh, yeah, baby. <clears throat> of course, it's hilarious. They're the Runaway Five, but there are six of them. <clears throat> Pardon me. And of course, we're going to see a scene like this in a couple of minutes again. Pretty sure. But it goes pretty quick. At least I remember it going fairly quick. I think there was one playthrough where I accidentally did something in the wrong order and I had to see it like twice. <laughs> I went, no. But yeah, it goes, it goes pretty quick. And of course, it scrolls over just long enough so that the screen can reload and everyone's gone again. Now we talk to this guy. Someone like you who gets in Runway 5's music? Wow, I'm impressed. Right, so now let's, let's move on here. We'll free the Runway 5. It's not like we need that wad of bills for anything that we're doing. Pardon me. You always got to talk to this person, make them go. You want to see Rookie Foot, the manager? <laughs> right to this door, please. Man, I forgot some of the names. Hey, buddy. My five owe me a lot of money. They'll stay here until they pay me back. They might be here for a hundred years unless you decide to pay off their debt. Excuse me? What's that you got there? Let me take a real close look. Hey, right, because we have to be up here. No, right. You. No. Nope. Ah! Hang the wrong button here. There we go. Try this again. Because, yeah, if you're down there, it, the game wouldn't be able to pass right. Yipes, you surprised me. Now I'm not sure what to do. I got the money, of course, and now the Runaway 5 are free to leave. I've got no complaints now that I have my money. Well, what do you know? This little nipper took us from a nightmare to a dream. Ow, this means we can get out of this dump. I'm a good driver. Come on, I'll show you. All right, let's move on to the next town. I'm sure old hunk junk will get us there. I didn't make a spectacle of myself, did I? 
So now we're going three to in style. I suppose I'll never see the 185 show again. No, you won't, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go to Threed. Our tour bus is too loud for any ghosts to bother us. You want to ride? Hell fucking yeah, I do. Oh yeah, let's go. Get on the bus. Okay, guys, here we go. <laughs> I love this theme. Hey, sidewalk, get out of my way. <laughs> There we go, that allergy, my allergy fits kind of waning. I just have to not rub my eyes again, or at least walk, get to, you know, wash my hands before I rub my eyes again. Oh, the perils of having cat allergies and owning a cat. I guess she's perfectly entertained by waiting for that lizard to come down. And here are ghosts. And now, because of the Runway 5's loud music, they just drop back. Instead of getting swarmed. And now Freakbot's favorite area. Three Town. I love the music for Three, too. Looks like we have to say goodbye for now. This town seems... Pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light up the place with your own little brand of sunshine. Yep, permanently uh, overcast and night. Hope to see you again sometime. Look for us to be singing at some theater in Foreside. Yeah, three days pretty cool. We can go into the map. So we got a lot in three here. I wonder what's down below. We can't get to the desert. We'll have the same problem. The ghosts will turn us around. There's graffiti here. Just play it. I don't remember what's down here. Let's take a look. I don't think that there's anything of particular interest here. Look at Just because it's been a while? Yep. Yeah, this is probably why I don't ever go down here because we get into unnecessary fights. Deal with the zombie dog. Oh my god, yeah. That's a lot of attack. That's a lot of damage. There's really not a whole lot we can do here. Wow, the zombie dog has a lot more than I thought. Alright, let's use fire on the zombie dog. Yeah, hit the teddy bear, not us. I remember the zombies being vulnerable to fight. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, return to the dust of the earth. The zombies we actually kill in this game. Holy shit, that was a lot of XP. Okay, well, that was pretty nice. But yeah, I don't think there's anything to be really had down here. I don't want to... Yeah, there's... Get away from that thing. But we'll talk to a couple of people. How can you smile like that in a dangerous place like this? Yeah, it is fucking dangerous, too. Zombies and ghosts are on the loose here. Welcome to Threed. Around in the trash can. Let's see here. There's just plain old garbage in the trash can. Oh, right. We didn't go back. Well, that's right. We can do that later. Munch, munch, gulp. Oh, no. I didn't take a piece of pizza. I would never think of doing that. It was delicious, though. Enjoy. Should we know you need to order by phone, okay? Gotta love the fact that the pizza place you can't even get from there. There's a hospital. We don't need anything there. That's a cool dude. We're gonna go talk to him real fast. Headquarters of the Zombie Relief Corps is in the circus tent at the center of town. We want to crush the zombies, except I think they'll crush us. <laughs> yeah. You have to worry about the zombies. This town seems very dark, right? People are mostly living at the center of town. I wonder how we should get the town back from the zombies. There's a rumor that there's an underground path at the edge of the graveyard that takes you somewhere. When you get through the path, you'll meet a dirty, stinky, ugly, powerful monster. Put my pants just thinking about it. <laughs> I'm so scared of the zombies, I spent all my time running from them. I can't even get home. So this tent is uh, the center of the relief corps here. We'll talk to these people. How can we defeat the zombies? Oh, I just don't know. Why don't we get all the zombies in this tent and then set it on fire? We may all get it munched before we have a chance to do anything. 
I'm glad you're going to help us, but you're pretty young. Zombies are slowly advancing towards the tent. Everyone, I repeat, the zombies are on the move. <laughs> so things are pretty desperate around Threed. This shady looking fucker here. Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? I got you what you need. He yeah, doesn't really have anything here. He's got some good stuff, just not for us. Nope. On the watch for bad guys. Yeah, he's useful, man. Is what we're gonna need. Okay, so at this point, I think we talked to that guy already, didn't we? If not, we need zombies and ghosts are on the loose here. Welcome to three. Okay, yeah, we did talk to him. What I'm looking for is to talk to one NPC in particular, but ultimately, what we need to do is we need to stay at the hotel. I saw there it is. I saw a suspicious woman talking with the zombies around here. Welcome to the Three Sunset Hotel. A one-night stay will cost you 120. See you next time. We don't see the woman. Yet. Let's get out of here. Get the money out. That's fine. Now I think zombies are overachievers, always trying to get ahead. <sighs> now I think we should be able to stay. Yeah, maybe we didn't need to stay. I need to do something else here. Sir, are you going out? I guess newspapers for Dublin to Hotel today are different than normal. The paper's called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Destroy the humans. Hold the town for our glory, for the glory of our master. I'm not seeing... Okay, be careful while walking around outside, especially near the graveyard. Okay, I guess... It's been a little while. I guess what we'd have to do is... <laughs> oh, I love you guys. <laughs> Alright, so I probably have to go up to... I have to go up to the graveyard and I have to see the... Because uh, what we need to do is go up to the upper left and go as far as we can up there. And then the woman will show up at the hotel. Problem here. Right, yep. No, we need to go the other way. Nope. It's the other way I need to go. Because, yeah, once we. Yeah, don't enter. Once we get too far and we see something we shouldn't, or get a clue of something we shouldn't. Nope, I wanted to go that way. It has been a while. Man, I'm really rusty with this. <laughs> this is the way we actually want to go. And essentially, what's going to end up happening here is we're going to... Wait. What is going on here? There's a teddy bear inside. Oh, okay. We'll take the teddy bear. No, I don't need a hint. Because I, I vaguely remember what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just having a hard time finding it at the moment. Which is strange. Of course, all these people think I'm a zombies. <laughs> or all these people, when you knock on the door, they think you're a zombie. I'm a wimpy little guy, so I can't open the door. You know, it's scary. <laughs> You're awfully kind talking, taking time out of your day to talk to a mouse. This mouse loves you. <laughs> hey, you don't look so happy. Uh, hey, you. Uh, you don't look so happy. You better cheer up or you'll become a zombie. Some people have already become tools of the zombies. Hey, a zombie. I'm watching a zombie movie. Can you come by? <laughs> hey, yeah, that thing, that's a monster. Let's not attack that. Am I losing my mind here? I feel like I must. I must have to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna get the free XP here. Man, processor slowdown is pretty crazy. The emulator does do a nice job of completely uh, getting everything here. Right. We were up there before. <laughs> it's fine. Did I just go the wrong way in the cemetery here? Maybe I went the wrong way in the cemetery. That's a monster. Thing. Yeah. No. That's not a monster. That's actually a trash can. Yes, you are. That's beside the point. <laughs> yeah, let's just bash the smelly ghost. So if I remember correctly, 
There's, that's the damage to the teddy bear. Works for me. Well, I figured this shit out. I guess I just didn't go the right way. I just need to go up this way. Yep, and the offense goes down. Not that it really matters for Paula, her. Wow. Okay, fine, you know what? Let's do freeze, let's see if I remember now. Cause yeah, we're not doing any damage melee-wise. We'll take that. At least it lost a turn. Do the same thing. Yeah, fuck it. Let's try freeze beta. Do a little more damage to it. Probably should've just done that to begin with. Well, at least I got some XP for the trouble. Let's see what's in this. Insecticide spray. Yeah, we'll take that because we are going to deal with insecticide issues. Yes, this is what I was looking for. He stares into your soul. He looks you over. <laughs> All right, but yeah, this is that secret passage, that other area. We know we need to get down to that stair, uh, down those. Yep. All right. Well, we'll use the insecticide spray on that thing. Hit the no good fly. There we go. Freeze on you. Hopefully kill you outright. Quite. There we go. No good fly. <laughs> yeah, you bash you and uh, yeah, freeze alpha. That'll be the end of the smelly ghost. He looks longingly into your eyes. <laughs> and strangely, that's worse. Yeah. So much for the teddy bears. Would have been nice to have held on to the teddy bears a little longer, but oh well. Yeah, at this level, the teddy bears really don't last very long. Boiled egg. We'll take the boiled egg. Leave that insect behind. Probably just another no good fly. Now we're going to go to the hotel. She is. <laughs> I love how these guys are just gone. And I love the music now. <laughs> uh oh, you're losing consciousness. What could be the fate of Ness and his friend? Doors locked. Well, we're pretty much stuck here. I'm calling out to you, who I've never met. I'm calling our friend, who we've never met. Jeff! Jeff! We need your help. I'm Paula, and I am with another friend, Ness. We're trying to contact you. Eat the children into a pit and pour out the concrete. <laughs> See, if they had done that, the game would have been over. Thankfully, they didn't take that advice. Winters, a small country to the north. Snow Wood Boarding House. I'm Paula, and I am with another friend, Ness. We're trying to contact you. You hear me. Please wake up and head south. Only you, though far away, can save us, Jeff. Please hear my call and begin heading south. Jeff, you are a friend who we've never met, but you are our one and only hope. You know, it occurred to me, I should have done that. Um, it, as Ness, if you start staying in hotels, you'll hear that same kind of message from Paula asking for help from, you know, her cabin in Tucson. Jeff, where are you going in the middle of the night? You know the dorm rules, right? If you get caught, you'll get punished big time. What's wrong, Jeff? All right. There must be some reason that I don't understand. I won't stop you, but it's dangerous to leave without taking anything along. <laughs> It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Now I can't unhear that damn thing. Uh, yeah, hey, I think there's some stuff in the locker room that you should get. I'll help you get out of here. Tony joins you. Strange girl talking in my head, telling me to go out into the wilderness. Why not? Like that, right, Dark Star? That's not the start of some horror movie. No problem here. I don't think there's anything else in here. So just like that. I don't think we have any. Oh, we do have a big bottle rocket. We've got a ruler. we got a broken spray can and a power tractor and a boiled egg. All right. We're good to go here. He needs level one. Okay, we're level one again. I heard a creature called Tessie lives in the southern lake. I don't believe it. I think someone made a model and placed it in the lake. I'm sleepy. I'll wash my face, brush my teeth, do my business, and go to bed. I heard a more interesting story than the rumor of Tessie. It's about cave boys at Stonehenge. Many claim to have actually seen them. I wonder if the rumor is true that the center of Stonehenge has an entrance leading someplace. Someday we should check it out. <laughs> you guys should definitely not check that out. <laughs> this, this part's fucking great. I'm so sleepy. Tony's birthday party is tomorrow. I hand decorated each cookie to pass out at the party tomorrow. So you could just open all these presents and take all the cookies. If you're going outside, stop by and say hi to Maxwell before you leave. He always looks out for the younger students. Maxwell's still working hard in the lab downstairs. Anyway, these days, there are many dangerous animals wandering around outside. Definitely on the present, there's a cookie inside. I don't remember if he said that. Jeff, I can't believe you would do something so nasty. <laughs> oh, since we don't have life up abilities, we're going to need these. <laughs> that does always make me laugh a little bit. And there's no real penalty for it, but you kind of need to eat them. Oh, Jeff and Tony, you startled me. Are you looking for a late night snack? I'm having some trouble with my project. Only Jeff's father, Dr. Andonuts, were here. He'd be able to provide a great deal of help. I heard he's an astounding person. He was the first leader of our Ultra Science Club. I heard he's greater than Einstein or Heisenberg. Rumor has he's also very strange. If you're heading to the locker room, take this key along. It's a little bent, though. I got the key to the locker room. You leave, call me, and I'll record your adventure. It's like saving the game. Ha ha ha. Because obviously it doesn't make sense for Jeff to be calling Ness's father. I mean, Tony's right there. Right. Yeah, exactly. Tony knows what's up. Wait, I think I need to fix it, don't I? Yeah, I need to fix it. Yep, okay. Don't remember at the moment how I fix it. He didn't work, did it? I thought that might be the case, so I just invented the machine that opens doors, especially when you have a slightly bad key. Sorry for the inconvenience. Thanks, Maxwell. Jeff got the bad key machine. You're Dr. Andonuts' son. You should be able to repair small tools and make them useful. Just try to keep a positive attitude. Hmm, convenient. Now we have a machine that will open a lock. Jeff open locker using the bad key machine. There's nothing in this locker. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it was up there. That I, but we may as well just go in order. This gets a little tedious. Yeah, we'll take the home's hat. Yes, we'll definitely take that. Key machine again. Hey, okay, we need that. That's the only problem when you take all the cookies, then you run out of room on in your inventory. Uh, 
perfect. All right, we're in good shape now. Top gun. Yep, all that. Perfect. Good deal. All right. Okay, now use me as a step and climb over the gate. Thanks, Tony. Well, I'll say goodbye to him for now. I don't know where you're going or why, but remember, we are best friends forever. Tony's a cool dude, man. No, like, doesn't question it, just helps. And of course, we really can't do much here, because we don't have... Jeff got his... Jeff got his hat and is ready to bust some caps. Jeff got his gat and is ready to bust some caps. Oh, yeah. The bubble gum here is incredible. You should see the size of the bubbles I can blow. There's a monkey at the entrance. Take the monkey. He's really noisy. If you buy a pack of bubble gum, you can have the monkey for free. Otherwise, he'll cost you a buck. So do you want him? Yes. Can't carry anything else. Why don't you return after you get rid of something? Right. Now we're gonna need the bubblegum monkey. Monkey's yours. Jeff got the pack of bubblegum. Jeff chewed a piece of bubblegum, but it wasn't as satisfying as food. Oh shit. Okay, good. Give me some gum. The monkey got a piece of bubblegum from Jeff and blew a bubble. That's right, I just had to talk to Bubble Monkey here. Go. Bubble Monkey joins you. Hello there, how may I help you? And he's got some really good shit, but yeah, I mean, we can't afford any of this crap. Can I get you anything else? Nope. But if we ever come back here, we can get some cool shit. Yeah, we definitely need a Bubble Monkey. Come on, buddy. I love how sometimes he gets lost. <laughs> Yeah, that ram is mean, man. Dog. And the bubble monkey actually helps in combat, which is awesome. Let's see, oh, we probably gained a level there. Yes. Let's throw away a cookie. Rather have a bread roll. Yes. There we go, and now we just got to level two. Excellent. Now we need to head this way. Let's enjoy this whole area. The tame animals have become wild. Something evil is going on. Yep. Why don't you rest here for a short while? Have something to drink. Grab some tea. And so if we get messed up or anything, we can now come back here. You feeling much better now? Good luck. Yeah, I definitely needed the bedroll. I think I need to go to the left. Yep, I was right. And of course, I don't really remember the maps as well as I used to. Some of it comes back to me, though. Shoot the dog. The dog's impressive as fuck. There we go. Good. We got it in one hit. Jeff is all jacked up on Mountain Dew and ready to go full Rambo on these dogs. And damn straight, Darkstar. <laughs> Nothing in this tent. These guys are funny. I heard that the wind is always blowing when Tessie appears. Achoo! I feel like I'm catching a cold. Tessie may unexpectedly be living in the woods. I personally think so. Now once we go to that spot down there, we can activate Bubble Monkey and Tess will take us across the way. I want to talk to these guys. If I find Tessie, do you think I'll get in the newspaper? I'm looking for my 15 minutes of fame. Hello, hello. Maxwell Labs here. Oh, hello, Jeff. Would you like me to keep a record of your journey? Yes. All right, I have everything written down. Do you want to take a break now? Continue. I'm such a hard worker. Got to get back to work myself. Go for it, bad boy. No, let me out. 
happy. I want to talk to these guys, but one of them gives you an item. What a cute little monkey. Would you like a piece of gum? Maybe gum. Monkeys don't like gum. No, this one does like gum, dude. Or like Tess. Waiting to see Tessie. We're known as the Tessie Watching Club. So you've also been bitten by Tessie Mania. You're in luck. We may be able to see Tessie tomorrow. I can't wait. Of course, we're, you know, pre-dawn here. I'm the cook for the Tessie Watching Club. How about some stew? Oh no, there's no need to pay me. To a friend who I've never met before. Jeff, head south. I am Paula. If you hear this message, go to the south. And there we go. Now working through the night. Jeff fixed. So this is one of the things that Jeff does, depending on what his IQ is. If he's got broken items in his inventory, he can fix them working through the night. And so in this case, he fixed the broken spray can. And it became the defense spray. So essentially, if you really need it, you could use it and your defense will go up. That's not one of these guys. Oh well. But now the wind is blowing, so Tessie will appear. Time for another photograph. Let's bring back the fondest of memories. Fuzzy friggin' pickles. <laughs> gum? Give me some gum now. I'll take care of everything. Yes, he will. Good bubble monkey. And there's Tessie. And all of, uh, I guess her. Purple glory. And now we have our nice ride across the channel. We should see some pretty scary shit over on that shore there. I love the music to this game so much. We've got a little bit of an adventure, and now what's coming up in a couple of minutes is one of my favorite characters in this game, Brick Road. This dude is cool as hell. And so there's our encounter with Tessie, because why not take a cryptid for a ride? <laughs> You have to be a little careful here, but for... Yeah, there it is. There it is! You engage the gruff goat. Okay. Oh, well, monkey attacks. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need to take that bread roll now. damage, but still. Good. Max out my hit points. Damn, this rough goat really does do a shit ton of damage. There we go. We got him. We gained 20 XP, so it was worth it. Sucks to have used up a bread roll, but had to be done. And so unfortunately, for some weird reason, a pencil-shaped iron statue is blocking the path. This dungeon has no entrance fee. Come on in. So here we go. <laughs> Jeff's dungeon. Why won't you just die? <laughs> Welcome to my modest dungeon, Brick Road. And we get all the signs. This shit's cool, cool as fuck, man. Uh, now we get to counter the Rowdy Mouse. But it's crazy guts, so it smashes all the time. Good. Only two damage that time. I'll have to fight it a couple of times. Aw, oh, Bubble Mikey, come on, man. Good. Keep doing that. Keep not critical. Keep not critting me here. So we're noticing a pattern. A lot of the same kind of enemies we fought as Ness when we were very low level. 
good. That was very helpful that we didn't get our ass kicked there. Bread roll inside. All right. So we got a bread roll to replace the bread roll we had to take. I actually don't remember, don't remember how to do this. So I don't think this is what we want. But there's a present down there, so let's take it. These ducks are uh, very interesting. The mad duck. Mad duck fell down. <laughs> Bubble monkey scratching his head. <laughs> Yeah, if you have side points and it makes something spin around, it'll drain your side points. It sucks. But since Jeff doesn't have any side points, these are great enemies for him to encounter. These the mad ducks end up being basically free XP for Jeff. We will take that, and I just gained another level. Sweet! What I'm gonna try and do here is get all of the, uh, yeah, we'll take the insecticide spray. We've got some stuff. Let's see, do I want that? We will take that. So now we don't have any other options. We have to go this way. This is an enemy. We know it was an enemy because of moving. <laughs> Worthless protoplasm. <laughs> oh, I hate it when they call for help. Fuck. Come on, man. Good. Yeah, I love it when they size up this situation and then they feel strange because now they're confused. So it might attack protoplasm A. For itself. It ends up being very random. No one came. Oh, I hate it when they dodge. Come on. Yep. Good. No one came. And yeah, the worthless protoplasms definitely like to call for help. <laughs> Misery loves company, yes. <laughs> yep. But now it went back to normal. Yeah, that's the thing. When it feels strange and you attack it, you you snap it. You know, it kind of comes to its senses. Oh, you motherfucker! Although for as often as they've called for help, it's amazing that. You know, just talking about how often it wasn't working, and then they oh come on, stop calling for help. <laughs> but I love how every time it, you know, calls for help. Obviously adds a new letter to it. So now we're on to Worthless Protoplasm D. I think I'm trying to remember how high up in a battle where things called for help that they managed to get. I think I've gotten to M before. <laughs> ah, thank you. Make yourself feel a little strange. They seem to have a high dodge. Well, also Jeff's gun doesn't have this high... Um... Yeah, it was Bubble Monkey that got the smash. That was unfortunate. I don't remember if Jeff can smash with his weapon. I don't know if he can, actually. That's an interesting question. It's been a while. We gained 60. We got 68 XP for that. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's see what treasure we got. We're walking around. All right, but well we do want the broken iron. So, let's eat that cookie. Cover 6 XP, and we'll take that broken iron. Because we do want that. That's something that once he gets high enough level or a high enough IQ, he'll be able to repair it, and that will be nice to have. Watch for falling materials. <laughs> it is a little annoying when it happens so frequently. Like, he just took Jeff's picture, and now he's taking it in the dungeon. But it is funny how Brick Road has a sign of, like, beware of falling materials. Alright, so let's end this mad duck here. And the mad duck fell down. <laughs> These things are great for just XP. Again, they don't have any side points. For the most part, they are not a threat. Although, okay, good. That's the thing that can actually hurt you when it pecks at your eyes. But it seems to have a very high miss rate. Go level up again. Cool. This way. Croissant. Definitely want that rather than that cookie. 
Hmm, Seraph, grab the croissant. <laughs> now that you made room for it. Oh, shit. I moved too far forward. I don't want to do auto fight, even though I'm pretty much just going to shoot the whole time. Just because if something, if it does call for help successfully. Well, that was lame. Seven points of damage to me. There we go. But we got it. Pretty much negated the cookie I just ate. Not the end of the world. That's a rowdy mouse. I'm gonna have to fight it though to get to that treasure. So let's do it. And let's hope it doesn't smash me here. Now theoretically what I could do is try to uh fucking thing. There we go. Did we get it? Yeah, we got it. Uh theoretically could go back up and try to sleep and see if Jeff will repair something in the middle of the night, but I don't remember that being a worthwhile endeavor. Definitely want the stun gun. So I don't remember what the protractor even does. You, you can even use this during battle. It can be used many times. I don't remember what happens when you use the, bat, uh, the Protractor in battle. Or the Ruler in battle. But I vaguely remember these being useful items. So I don't want to get rid of those. I want to keep the big bottle rocket in case I get in over my head. Yeah, we'll just eat this bread roll. Stun gun. There we go. Our offense just went up significantly. Very, very good. And that's it for our first uh, dungeon here as Jeff. We'll save. Yes, I would. Sign. Way to go. Please come back again, Brick Road. <laughs> and now we actually get to meet Brick Road. Maybe it was too easy? My name's Brick Road, the dungeon developer. I've devoted my life to making dungeons. Well, by combining my skills and Dr. Andonut's intelligence, I could become Dungeon Man, the first combination of human and dungeon in history. Let's meet again once I've become Dungeon Man. Would you like to get a good night's rest? Yes, please. <laughs> and yes, we do indeed meet Brick Road once he is Dungeon Man. He's lit he literally turns into a dungeon. It's amazing. <laughs> Now we gotta deal with this shit. And if we get fucked up too bad, we can always go back to Brick Road and get healed up. We gotta deal with attack slugs. We remember these guys. Until they concentrate, they can't use Psy powers. So this is gonna be this kind of order of the day. The problem is if you wait too many turns, they'll gain the ability to concentrate and then they can actually do their Psy powers. So if there are like six of them or something and you don't kill them in time, those last one or two that suddenly can concentrate and use Psy attacks, they can really fuck you up. You definitely don't want to dawdle with those things. But yeah, for the most part, attack slugs usually are like that. They're like free XP. You just can't fuck around. Yeah, we got to take out the Brody Mouse first. And Bubble Monkey can't die. So it's always nice when they attack... Uh, Actually, I don't know if they ever attack Bubble Monkey. Bubble Monkey's scratching his head. But he will attack them, which is cool. But I don't think they ever attack Bubble Monkey. Or if they do, they automatically miss or something. That is, a, that is creepy cave music that, you know... Yeah, let's just kill these guys. It's the end of Attack Slug A. I think they've got like 50 hit points or something like that. Nothing crazy. Yeah, even Bubble Monkey's weakest attack is he does like 12 points of damage. 50. Cave really shouldn't be that big of a problem. Ooh. Well, that was nice. And we got a chance for a surprise opening attack. I don't know how we managed to do that. But hey, we'll take it. So they didn't even get a turn. Granted, their turns are not usually useful, but it's nice when they don't even get to go. Now, let's see if we do the same thing here. 
Yeah, I couldn't do the same thing there. Ah, but I will take it. Sweet. Ah, now we're level eight. That was awesome. Leveled up on an auto win. That is cool as shit. We do want the hamburger though, so. Uh, all right, let's get rid of the defense spray. Yeah, you get choices where it's like all of those things are potentially useful, but the defense spray is all is only a one-time use item. So it's like Although it is nice in a boss battle or something, but deal with the mushroom. Hopefully they don't confuse me. Oh, wow. Okay. Although in hindsight, maybe I should have just gotten rid of the ham uh, croissant for the hamburger. That's what we need to get to. But let's go up here first. Probably a... Yep, that's the present. That's what we want. Nah, fuck it. I hate these mushrooms just because they can confuse you. <laughs> Bubble Monkey scratching his head. Thanks, Bubble Monkey. Not that it's going to do a whole lot anyway, but that's not the point. Come on. We're a little low on HP, but nothing completely crazy. There we go. Uh... No, not for a cookie. Yeah, I'll leave the cookie behind. But now we're level 9. Getting there. That we definitely want, though. So... Let's just start running out of shit, man. Croissant. Yeah, our defense just went up significantly. That's important. Uh, let's go up. Let's see if we can scroll. Uh, come on. Go away, mushroom and mouse. Uh, well, it looks like we're going to have to fight anyway. So, well, let's just do it. Alright, so at least it's only one mushroom. Oh, the mushroom's being absent-minded. Yes, please, thank you. Bubble Monkey may get it. Yep, he did. Even with only four damage. This part gets annoying when you're filled up your inventory. Still no auto hit, huh? Or no auto win for these, huh? Probably because we can't kill it in one in one turn by ourselves. Must be what it's calculating it on. We're close, though. No, I don't want... No. Yes, I'll leave the cookie behind. <laughs> now, here. Bottle rocket. Yeah, I'll take the bottle rocket. Thing. Jeez, man. Let's drop the pop gun. I'm bubble monkey. Bubble monkey took a piece of bubble gum, chewed it, and started blowing. There we go. Drop that rope to me, little buddy. Thank you. Now we can advance. This part's cool. Only Ness can absorb the power of this place, so it won't even let you fight it. Even if you didn't know, we do now. At some point, we're going to come back to this place with everybody. Now, she's my type. I think I'll ask her for a date. 
Well, goodbye, Bubble Monkey. I'm so glad you ditched me at the first possible chance you had. <laughs> Although he is, he was a good friend. He's cool as shit. Okay, I don't really want to fight these guys. I don't want to fight these guys at all. You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read about it in the tabloids. Yes, that Stonehenge. One thing we will do real quick. We'll just go in Stonehenge. You got him for a dollar, you got your bucks worth. Yeah, you can't complain. <laughs> yeah, this place is uh, looking interesting. For some reason, something looks like a very large iron eraser is in the way. So yeah, we can't get any further in here. But that is good for Jeff, because Jeff would die very, very badly in there. Very, very, very badly. <laughs> I thought that guy was going to get me for sure. Yeah, I love how this guy's just hanging out in the snow. I'll reach the lab. Mr. Brickroad, the dungeon re maker, referred you, right? And not only that, what? Who? My son? Oh, I can't, I can't believe it. You're Jeff, my son. It's been maybe 10 years since I last saw you. I'm so glad you're such a healthy boy. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, how about a donut? Yeah, sure. Well, I was only offering. I'd also like a donut right about now. Have you already checked out Stonehenge? Well, at least I asked. Uh, okay. Uh, by the way, why are you here? Oh, I see. That girl named Paula must have sensed I was here. Okay, I'll try and help you out. I'm trying to make a phase distorter that can connect two points in space and time. So right after he was born? Yeah, right? <laughs> he left like basically instantly. I think Jeff's like, I think Jeff and all of them are like 15, uh, somewhere around there. But yeah, basically like right around that time. It's still incomplete. I'll let you use another invention I call the Skyrunner. It's a little bit old, but it'll certainly help. When you board, always listen for the message that comes from your destination. You'll get there for sure if you listen to the message. The round machine over there is the Skyrunner. What do you think? Isn't it neat? Get in. Let's get together again in 10 years or so. <laughs> I don't think there's... Yeah, I'm at full health anyway. Or I'm at full inventory anyway, even if there is something upstairs. So yeah, yeah, he built and invented a fucking flying saucer. What happened? It's not moving? Hey, why don't you try pressing the button on the controller? What's really cool about this is we'll get a little bit of preview of places that we haven't been to yet. 12, 13. Oh, that's the ages they're at? Wow, I thought they were actually older than they... They're younger than I thought they were. <laughs> Big city. We'll be there in all due time. Paul is 11, my god. And here I thought they were like teenagers. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> there we go. there. Enough to get, ha have all the residents of Threed being like, is that a fucking UFO? 
You know, just in case they didn't see it the first time. There we go. Jeff's dad dipped out as soon as she was getting out of diapers. Seriously. Man, oh man, did that ever scare me. The Skyrunner. I guess it took a little damage while landing. Oh well. You don't have to explain a thing. I'm Jeff. I came because you called me. I'm not very strong, really. Nearsighted. Kind of shy. And I tend to be a little reckless. This is just the way I am. I hope you want me to be your friend, okay? Hell yeah, dude. Alright. Let's get back to the journey, then. Parked like Launchpad McQuack. Yes, he did. Oh my god. I don't know if Launchpad ever landed... Ever. I think he only ever crashed everywhere. At least that's what I remember from uh, DuckTales and Darkwing Duck. Hello, Cleo. Did you ever find that lizard? Hello, kitty kitty. Are you a good girl? You're a good girl. And now Jeff joined you. So this is the part... So when I... Uh, <laughs> the last time I really played this game... Um, it's funny how uh, one of the last things that I did before moving out of my parents house I knew I wasn't going to have access to my Super Nintendo for a while because I was going to be putting it in a box so one of the last things I did that night was I played Earthbound for basically as long as I could be awake I was playing to like 2 or 3 in the morning and this is about the spot where I'm like alright time to get to a phone save the game and for years this is where the cartridge was I still remember that this is the spot that I really kind of resumed things now we gotta go through here. We'll activate the bad key machine. We can now unlock the door. And the door opened. So I always have fond memories of this particular part of the game. But I do think I played through it one time after that. Uh, so we're gonna save. Hello, Cleo. What? Going, going for a nap now? All right, cat. You be good. How much is this gonna cost? Probably, yep, 180. Because it costs a certain amount of money per person. So no, we're gonna have to stay. But we'll actually we could, couldn't we? Because for the most part, everybody's yeah, everybody's healthy. Yeah, oh, never mind. We're at full. Let's just save the game. <laughs> Let's just save our progress in case we die. Yeah, so we got money here. Sweet. Record. And then we'll head back to the skeezy looking dude. See if he's got an upgrade for Jeff. I don't think he does. That stun gun should be more than sufficient, but we'll look anyway. He's just down here. And now we can cruise up there and those guys, those zombies will be gone. Bye. Yep, the toy air gun. Actually, the rust promoter might not be bad either. But one thing at a time. Okay. I'm going to need about 300 bucks. Keep on the watch for bad guys. I need 300 bucks. Do, do, do. And I don't like withdrawing money every chance I get because if you die you lose half your money so you're better off keeping it in the in the bank because if it's in the bank you don't lose it and we got a pretty good amount of money Ugh. of course it helps when Seraph doesn't just hit the buttons constantly trying to advance it and does it too fast perfect We're going to give the hamburger to Paula. Give the boiled egg to Paula. Okay. This way, at least everybody has one spot. We'll let him keep those things. Yeah, that works. Cool. I mean, it would have been nice to have kept the one weapon because I could have sold it for some money, but... I wouldn't have made that much off of it. We're going to buy the toy air gun. Jeff is going to take it. 
suppose you're gonna want to equip it here. Yes. Yes, offense changed from 34 to 42. Say about 75. Yep, I'll take that. And yeah, the rust promoter. Just in case we run into a machine enemy that we need to de do a shit ton of damage to. Nope, that's it. All right. Now, back up we go. Back to where we came from. Now those zombies will be gone and we can advance. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Let's not fight any fights, any battles we don't need to. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight this thing. That's fine. <laughs> so that rust promoter, we'll just use it now. Yeah, we'll bash you. We'll freeze you. Now he has an option. He has an item, um, an ability called Spy. So every, obviously everybody has uh, their unique abilities. Like Paula has Prey. Well, Jeff has Spy. We haven't done that yet. But, um, oops. Oh, okay. So I ended up going backwards. Paula has Prey. So that's also another thing. If you do an, if you, if you queue an action and you want to back up and you, you can just back up through your, um, through your queue. You're like, oh, right. I didn't want to do that. It doesn't, it allows you to kind of make up that mistake. So I could spy if I really wanted to. We're just going to do the rust promoters. Because both of these things have metal on them. I'm just going to fuck up these guys big time. Because there are two of them. Yeah, let's just, we'll just use this. Oh, shit. That was a lot of damage. Oh, shit. It didn't work on either of them. Well, that was a waste. Fuck. All right. I'll uh, freeze on you. And fine. Uh... Shit. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> Let's try and hope that they don't attack Jeff. <sighs> okay, just missed. I mean, Jeff is at least going to do decent damage. That's part of the nice part. Well, there's... Jeff's dead. <laughs> well, we lost our first person. Damn it. Okay, not the end of the world. I rolled the dice that they wouldn't attack Jeff again. But that that didn't work out. <laughs> so now we get to go to the hospital and pick up Jeff. The hospital's down that way. I think we're gonna need some money to do that. So let's also pick up some money. And the problem is if we stay at a hotel, Jeff doesn't just magically reappear. We have to go to the hotel and kind of check him out. And all the colors change because we've got a dead party member. Yeah, let's just do that. I don't remember how much it costs to get somebody out. Part of the risks. Oh, and these guys are getting in as things continue to get worse around three. <laughs> as the zombies continue to close, close their fingers around the neck of the residents of three. Who do you want to see? Jeff. Jeff was just brought in and is still unconscious. Please $120 for the doctor's fee. Yes. I'm glad. I'm so glad you recovered, Jeff. Come back anytime you need. Okay. Now we'll get backed out. It's really not all that involved, but uh, the game handles losing party members pretty well. Those zombies are on the move here. Welcome to Threed. So now if we go into the tent, there are a couple of new people in here. Welcome to the circus. Yep. Oh yeah. The three circus for sure. People used to call me evil, but these zombies are much more scary. I left my wife and kids at home to escape to this tent. Yeah, you're evil, dude. That's how scary the zombies are. Frankly, I'm running scared. I don't mean that I actually run around. I just mean I'm frightened. The conditions of the town are getting worse. Yep. So, this weird object was flying around and crashed in the graveyard. It looked like it was straight out of a Saturday morning cartoon. Wow, did you come here in that flying contraption? Most of the dialogue is the same, but some of the dialogue changes based on shit that happens in the game. So now we try this again, this time with less death on my part. We're going to reserve it strictly for the enemies. I don't think so, Ghost. You can get... Uh, I 
Yeah, thankfully that trick does work. When you see enemies like that, you can just kind of come back and just do your soul. Can I do about this? Oh, we can't get by these guys. All right, we still can't get by these. Oh, right. I remember how we get those guys off of that. Okay. I remember what we're doing here. Now we go south. This part sucks, but we're going to be okay. We'll be okay. We've got this. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, that tent wasn't here before. <laughs> Garg! I miss Saturday morning cartoons. I do too, man. Saturday morning cartoons were awesome. So the booby tent trapped us. Just gonna bash. We will fire. And you will fire that big fucking bottle rocket. Hell yeah, you will. Oh, come on, come on. Fire the big bottle rocket at least. There we go. <laughs> All right. So just blew away the fucking tent with that big bottle rocket. And because we did it fast enough, Jeff managed to stay alive. So yeah, Nessa's frames gained uh, 1,834 experience points each. So yeah, we just, uh, I'm thinking at least a few people level up here. Let's find out. Ness, even Ness went up in level. Holy shit. All this level's now 17. Jeff went to level 10. Jeff's now leveled down 11. Okay, so Jeff has leveled up three times so far. Good, his speed has gone up. So far, Jeff's now leveled up four times. Okay, yeah, Jeff got four levels up. Yeah, bottle rockets really are indispensable. They're awesome, especially for tough fights like that. All right, so we dug around the trash can. Well, let's see here. There's a jar of fly honey inside. Ness takes it. That jar of fly honey is about to change things in three. In a very profound way. Yeah, multis are pretty much one hit kills. Yeah, I, I agree. I totally agree. Now granted, they're expensive, but yeah, when you need them. Hello, this is Apple Kid. I just wanted to let you know that I finished a pretty unique invention. I'm not sure if it'll help you or not. It's called zombie paper, and it can be used to trap zombies. It works kind of like flypaper. All you need to do is place the paper on the floor of a tent or something. I've seen at least one, you've seen at least one tent around, right? And then the zombies get stuck to the paper. When they move around inside the tent, you can catch a lot of zombies this way. In fact, I bet you could get rid of all of the zombies that are terrorizing the area with this paper. Anyway, I just asked the mock pizza delivery man to deliver the zombie paper to you, Ness. You should get it pretty soon. Yo, I'm playing Fallout 4 next gen. Hey, Pokey, what's going on, man? Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've reinstalled Fallout 4. I'm just in the process of installing the mods because it takes a while to get the mod list set up right into a stable fashion. And um, so, yeah, it's it's been a it's been a process. It's it's been a process. I've been doing it for the last couple of days. But yeah, I've heard mixed things about the. Uh, the next gen thing, I've heard of like a bunch of bugs, but I've also heard it's pretty good. Uh, what's been your experience so far, dude? And greetings. Welcome again to the stream. Uh, zombie paper would be very useful. I'll be calling you if I come up with anything else. Click beep. I have not actually watched the show yet on Amazon Prime. Um, so obviously I'm not going to be talking about... There's Mock Pizza. <laughs> well, delivery pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted me to deliver this to someone named Ness, who is wandering around Threed. No one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend that you're Ness, and I'll give this to you. Oh, hello, Ness. Just go along with me in this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Ness, no matter what. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I have to get my achievements back. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you on that. That's right, Ness. Wink, wink. I've done my duty and given you Apple Kids thingamajig. Well, goodbye. Yeah. Stay professional, mock pizza guy. Oh, my goodness. So, um, anyway, where was I? Uh, oops, I'm going too far here. But yeah, I've only watched one episode of the Amazon Prime series, so I'm not going to be talking about that yet. Because uh, I want to avoid any kind of spoiler thing for that. But I will say that the production quality on it is really impressive. And I do recommend so far uh, seeing it. 
But uh, yeah, I didn't even think about the next gen um, achievements and whatnot. That's true. I could play the next gen on my PS5. I could do that. <laughs> yeah, they all die in the end. Thank you, Ghosty. <laughs> you know, so I have a friend, Warhammer, who, uh, yeah, I know you're joking. Uh, but but this is a good time to bring in this in. <laughs> well, yeah, Warhammer shows up to stream every so often and he is terrible about spoilers. He constantly forgets that people actually like to enjoy things the first time around. And so he gets into this habit now of doing that of like, oh, they all die in the end. Well, there was one show he didn't realize because he hadn't seen it yet, but that's how it fucking ends. And then he saw it. And he was like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <coughs> it was it was amazing and hilarious. Oh, and yeah, in this game, as you can see, when you uh, level up and your max HP goes up by a certain amount, you will actually gain those hit points. So Jeff's hit point maximum went up by 16, so he gained 16 hit points. It's really, really great. So yeah, now let's deal with the zombies here. So you're going to use this tent as a trap. We should try zombie paper or some kind of trap. We have to do something. You can do whatever you want. Just save my life. <laughs> this guy at the pizza joint told me about this new product called zombie paper. Maybe a good idea uh, would be to get all the zombies into a single spot. Well, we'll give it a try. It's better than nothing, I guess. So let's. Zombie paper. Paula placed the zombie paper on the floor. Now we just wait. <laughs> ah, good bot. It's always nice to see my bot working properly. Wait, why? Nope. I knew better. Hey, that's free XP. Come here, you little asshole. It's pumpkin head. It's really the trick or trick kid, but whatever. But since I'm about to sleep, there's no reason to hold back. Paula tried freeze beta. Oh my god. Yeah, Paula's psi, psi abilities are crazy. I usually don't use them all that much because I tend to be conservative with my psi point use. I actually tend to be conservative with my uh, magic use in most RPGs. But at the same time... Oh yeah, we'll have way plenty of money here. Welcome to the Three Sunset Hotel. A one night stay will cost you 180. Would you like to stay? Yes. So now we stay. Whoops. Ow. That hurt. <laughs> Ow. That really did hurt. Holy crap. Oof. And clearly the more important part, those two zombies leaving their post. But now we're not going to have to worry about encountering zombies. Randomly. Sir, you're working hard, even though you're young. The guest newspapers that were delivered to the uh, are different than normal. The paper is called the Zombie Herald. I'm scared, but let me tell you what's in it. Oogie Tent Falls. Young human to blame. <laughs> oh, man. I love the newspapers. And they, they do generally reflect how you're progressing through the story. A few days ago, the zombies got some kids at this hotel. The boy had a reading. Hey, it was you. <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. Actually, let's... Yeah, let's save the game real quick. Just now have, yep, we're almost back to the level we were before we made that withdrawal. Jeff will gain XP pretty quick. Yeah, we're gaining a level pretty soon. Hell, I'm Jeff might even gain a level the next time we go into a battle here. Not too long. I'm going to go downstairs and grab a cup of water real quick. I've already downed my entire glass here after finishing off my can of Coke here. Now we're going to go into the tent, take a look. It's obviously still dark and overcast and everything else, but I had to run over to escape the zombies. Now I can't remember where my house is. <laughs> we did it. Did you look in the tent? We taught those stupid zombies a lesson. I was able to rest many zombies because of your help. Rest sounds strange, doesn't it? Yes, it does. You might not understand my saying this, but we're zombies. <laughs> Yuck, we caught a lot of zombies. It's really gross. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fucking zombies. There's no response. I'll blame you after my death. Yeah, a lot of these things don't even talk to you. You're the enemy of all zombies, you monster. You humans are such cowards. I don't care if I pass away. 
<laughs> I'm dead already. Did you help me? Maybe not. <laughs> Zombie paper really works. I hope someone comes up with pretty girl paper. Oops, that wasn't a nice thing to say. No, it wasn't really. Those zombies stuck to the floor. I wonder if they could still get me. I don't care what happens to anyone else. I just want to save my own skin. So now we can proceed through the graveyard tunnel and really deal with what's really plaguing Threed. The problem is we still have to worry about the non-zombies. So we got to deal with the ghosts, the no good flies, all this other bullshit. And we also have to deal with any zombies that might be in the tunnels. Or ghosts like this one. Not a fan of ghosts. <laughs> we engage the zombie, or uh, yeah, the zombie possessor. This thing is scary because it can possess you, and it's fucked up if it possesses you. Uh, I want to say freeze works on the zombie, but let's spy on it. Good. Yeah, call for help. Nice attacks. All it tried freeze beta. Yeah, that's probably gonna kill the <laughs> zombie possessor. A. And he'll spy on that. Let's see, what's it weak to? Vulnerable to freeze. And flash. Good. Okay, so I could flash it. Uh, I didn't realize it was vulnerable to flash. So that's one of Jeff's biggest abilities that is amazing, is that spy ability. Kind of like Sid from Final Fantasy. Yeah, we're just gonna freeze. I don't think I need beta. Oh my god. Yeah, thank you for not calling. Thank you for not responding to help. 195. <gasps> Now that I know it's weak to freeze, I don't need to do overkill on the freeze. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Let's cruise down here. As we navigate these tunnels. Yeah, let's do this. Ta-da, there's a skip scammage deluxe inside. All it takes it. Yeah, the skip sandwiches are nice because we can take those and go fast. So if I really get into trouble, I can try to use those, heal a little bit, and then try to avoid encounters. We engage the zombie dog. Yeah, we're going to do fire. Fire's going to both affect both. Yeah, we'll just shoot. I know they're uh, vulnerable to fire. They do a lot of damage. Urban zombies should be gone. All right. Now we just hope. Okay, good. Didn't hit Paula. She does so little damage. Damn it. Come on. Good. Okay. <sighs> Did it fast enough where they survived? Well, Paula will probably level up. Oh, Paula did not level up. That stinks. But that's okay. Life of Paula. Next out. We'll do the same to Jeff. Pretty much that's what I'm going to reserve Ness's side points for. Is healing. There we go. Oh, I should have gotten the surprise attack. Come on, it was facing away from me. That's bullshit. Fire and shoot. There we go. A nice opening... <laughs> That's a nose opening home run. Opening home run there. Yeah, please. Laugh hysterically. Waste your turn. Please do that. There we go. Alright, so we killed these guys and they never even hit us. Love it when that happens. Alright, Paul is getting levels here. And Jeff gained another level. Nice. So far, so good. Now let's open up this coffin. Silver bracelet inside. All right, so <sighs> yeah, I mean, you get to a point where you get a lot of. Remember, what does the hand aid do? Handmade band aid heals your wounded body. Gone after one use. So yeah, it is a good heal thing. Um. don't need the backstage pass anymore. I should have gotten rid of that. 
And same with the picture postcard. Um, wait, psych. I don't know. Plunge this 20 side points. All right, I'll hold on to that for now. Remind me again what that about 40 hit points, huh? Alright, we'll keep the broiled egg for now. Jar fry. Let's give that to Jeff. Give that to Ness. Actually, no. Let's give that to Paula. Paula's got the weakest, and she tends to get her ass kicked a lot. Yeah, let's give her the silver bracelet. Now, Paula, give that to Jeff. Hmm. He'd at least have a better one. Charm for Jeff. All in due time, though. All in due time. These guys, I think, are weak to freeze. Yeah, there's zombie physics. Yeah, these guys are weak to freeze. All right, so you freeze that one and then shoot that one. Oh, no. Okay. That actually wasn't terrible. Well, that sucked. Okay, so yeah, when they reach out the icy hand, they essentially just kind of pseudo stun you. It's just almost like a hold. Uh, but yeah, then it wear it just wears off. It just makes you lose a turn. Not really the end of the world. What's worse is when they truly possess you. That sucks a lot. So the only way to really undo it is to go back to the hospital and have the uh the healer essentially purify you, you know, do an exorcism. At this point, this guy should almost be dead. One more hit, that's it. Goodbye. Yeah, they melt you into thin air. There we are. It's, we're, we finally gotten to the point where we're not leveling up every second. Tells me we're not too terrible. Let's find out what happened. You're level 21, Paula's level 18, and Jeff's level 15. All right, so decent distribution there. Total of six levels difference between Ness and Jeff. This little bastard. York, York. Since you had fly honey, I considered you a friend, but actually, you're just a commoner. I am the mortal enemy of your kind. The mini barf attacked. Now we're gonna do freeze beta on you. And we'll do spy just to see what you might be vulnerable to, just in case I'm. Oh, God. I hate the stop cr uh, the crying uh, thing is terrible. It makes your normal bash attacks have absolutely garbage um, accuracy. Didn't I just see that it was weak to freeze? Or maybe it was fire. Because yeah, freeze didn't do jack shit damage to it. Yeah, healing will do. That will, that will stop your crying. It's basically almost like what happened to Seraph earlier. You're just allergic to everything. What was that? But whatever. Yeah, shoot. You're gonna miss, but whatever. Yeah, it did way more damage. What? I don't. Oh, I guess I need to do the beta. Fuck. Yeah, it's gonna suck. Fire. Um. Insecticide spray. Don't remember. Oh, well, shit. Hopefully, it's not a one time item. I thought it would give me right. I was thinking out of combat, it gives you the. Um... Didn't smell like something he would like. Okay, good. I still have it. Well, this is annoying. Fuck it. <laughs> We'll do Psy rocking on you. But I don't think I could do anything else to this thing. Let's use the protractor just to see what it does. Yeah. Take that, you little bastard. So it's like a mini boss. God damn it. 
that hurt. Jesus. Yeah, let's uh heal up Ness here. Jesus. So good to know if he smashes you, it's over. <laughs> uh, let me just spy again. I really thought it was Freeze that he was vulnerable to. But yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Offense 45. Defense real high. Yeah, vulnerable to fire. That's my fault. Okay, so I was right about that. Rockin'. Yep. Fire. I guess we'll just shoot. Although, again, I'm basically very unlikely to hit while I cry. Psy abilities it is. There we go. We defeated it. Jeez, man. The good news is the whole not crying thing, that's going to wear off the second we're over with battle. It's got a lot of XP for that, too. Ah, we just got rockin' beta. Sweet. Vitality went up a bunch. Man, oh, wow. That was a lot of HP that just went up. Holy fuck. Nice. Okay. Now, wanted to get your fly honey and gulp it down. Master Belch and I love fly honey. Gjorg, Gjorg. Yes, you two bastards do. So now we're in a new place. You must have a long, tough road ahead of you, do you not? No, there's no need to explain. I already know. You must be hungry. This is good timing for you. I have to be carrying something to eat. What would you like? And then he kind of or he has stuff for sale if we need it. Actually, um, yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> There's a village full of interesting people just ahead. Go there and take a good rest. I have heard that the name of the village is Saturn Valley, but it cannot be found on any map. I enjoy helping those who are in trouble, though I charge them for my trouble. So yeah, Saturn Valley is a very interesting place, uh, to say the least. Magic butterfly. Perfect timing there. Excellent. All right. And now we're in this wonderful little valley. I actually don't remember the name of this valley. So one of the very annoying parts. Yeah, we gotta deal with this shit. Ants. I'm guessing ants. Yep, the red antoid and its cohorts. So we got a red antoid and a black antoid. Let's just... Attack that one. We'll do Psy Fire on these front two. We'll have Jeff shoot that one. See how this goes. And then I'll get to that water. I wasn't sure if that would... Okay, so we kill that one outright. Sweet. Yeah, sure. Do defense down. He's trying to debuff me, but whatever. Oh, it didn't even work on Jeff anyway. That's pretty cool. Good. Nice little straight up bash time. I love seeing that. You've won. Oh. Jeez. Oh, we got fire beta now. Sweet. All right. We got to worry about that guy. All right. Give me, give me one minute, folks. I am just going to replenish my supply of water. I shall return shortly. Okay, that wasn't too bad. But yeah, it's funny, Um, when you mentioned uh, Fallout 4, Pokey, I was like, 
because I've been trying to get it up and running. Uh, I'm just, you know, installing mod after mod because I, I love my modded playthroughs. And uh, if I had managed to get it configured in time, I probably would have played that today uh, instead of Earthbound. But I would like to finish Earthbound and Fallout 4 is going to take me a while. <laughs> it's just going to take a while. Um, you know what? Let's attack farm zombie. We'll have Paula do fire beta on the two ants. And we'll have Jeff shoot the farm zombie. Although I think the farm zombie is vulnerable to fire. Pretty sure. But let's just kill those two outright. Of course, now Paula is now completely out of side points. <laughs> I love when they just start laughing hysterically. Bash them. That might be the end of the yep. Yeah, Paula doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but now she at least does enough where if something's close, she can finish it off. There we go. Getting there. We're eventually going to get to the point where they're all the same level. There's a bomb inside. Ness takes it. Yep. Sure. We'll take the bomb. In a second, we'll definitely have a chance to just chat because of one of the annoying parts. There's a protein drink inside. It's got too much stuff already. I don't remember what the protein drink even does. Honest. Um, you know what? Boiled egg. Use on junk. Oh! And sometimes they'll use the condiment automatically. That kind of sucks. I did really wish they didn't do that, but oh well. And Jeff ate it. And yeah. I mean, it makes the boiled egg a lot more useful, but I mean, at that point, they didn't need to use it. I just wanted to use it anyway. But yeah, they'll automatically use the condiments if you have them. I, but that's my fault. I should have given it to somebody else. Building a stronger element gives you a fatigue. Drink this, you recover about 80 HP. Yeah, I mean, it's still better than the boiled egg. It's double... It's twice as good as a boiled egg, but still, I wish I didn't waste the ketchup packet on it, but oh well. And here we go with this again. Pictures taken instantaneously. Blah, 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 blah. Fuzzy pickles, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> the waterfall. We really don't know what to do yet. Although I wonder, I wonder if I, if the secret to that oh, fuck, works even because I know it because, okay, so the, the password, so to speak, master, uh, master Belch's, um, lair is behind the waterfall and <laughs> The way to get into it is you have to wait three minutes. That's the password. You just have to stay quiet, not move for three fucking minutes. Now, how you're supposed to figure that out? No idea. But it's somebody in Sa somebody in Saturn Valley pretty much will tell you that. Now, yeah, we'll bash the plane crocodile. We'll do fire beta. Oh, right. I don't have enough for that shit. All right. Fire alpha it is. And yeah, I guess we'll go off the plane crocodile because I think that's worse than the zombie. Uh, but ultimately, that's what's how we're gonna get in there. We just gotta go behind the waterfall and then not move for a while. And that's when we'll we'll chat up for a bit. It's a lot of damage. The problem is Paula is just so fragile. Well, that's it. She doesn't have any side points. She's out. I mean, I could take the side caramel, but at this point, I'd rather not use the side caramel now. I'd rather keep the side caramel for a little bit. Oh, come on. Don't do this shit to me. God damn it. Well, so there's that. Can the Hand Aid resurrect Paula? Let's find out. Let's use the Oh, it's no visible effect. Now, did the hand aid go away? Yeah, I just wasted the hand aid. God damn it. That was stupid. That was stupid. I knew the hand aid. I thought the hand aid would be. could actually resurrect her, but it really couldn't. Um, so, yeah, that, that sucks. That, that sucks. Fine. Ah! 
I didn't want Paula to miss out on that XP. That was dumb. But all right. Yeah, the hand aid essentially is healing. Um, it's not healing alpha and not beta. It's um, healing gamma. Which is nice because you can get it at this point, but not great since it's, you know, gone. Anyway, the bottle rocket inside. Ness takes it. Okay. Ness, give the bottle rocket to Jeff. Oh, fucking Christ. <sighs> All right, fine. We'll, we'll figure out the organization of that shit later. <laughs> I got to give that bottle rocket to Jeff, but you can already hear the Saturn Valley music. It's just not all that loud, but you can hear it a little bit. We're almost there. All right, we'll get Paula back in a second. Oh, these goofy guys. I love the Mr. Saturns. We feel groove. Hi ho, me, Mr. Saturn. This place are all Mr. Saturn. I love the font. <laughs> track title. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> I actually did not know the track title was he, he, or hi, hi, hi. Interesting. So we need to heal. I don't remember where the healing dude is. I think it's over here. Once upon a time, we were many, many. Everybody slowly, la or less, less. Hmm, boing. <laughs> there we go. I am Mr. Saturn. Zoom! And I can repair your body. Doing. Do you, or boing. Do you want me to operate on your ding? Yes. Please do. Oh, fixed up. Yeah, that Mr. Saturn doctor can heal everything. Yeah, it ticks me off that he used the hand aid for that. Oh, well. You want to slumber? K.O. <laughs> Working through the night, Jeff fixed the broken iron after being it became the slime generator. There we go. So Jeff's already starting to repair shit. Save these. Record. Yep. And now we will. Hello, this is the Scargo Express. Oh, is that you, Nick Big Bro? It's me, Tracy. I'm working part time. What can I do for you? Pick up. You want us to source something for you? I'll send someone over immediately. Yeah, let's get rid of some of these items that we don't really need. It's only a matter of time before I walk in. Talk to these guys. We look like same. I give you a special thing. Not now, Zoom. I give you on the way back. Doing. Bye later. Yeah, you actually give me a cool shit. You actually give me a really cool thing. So, boing, you have $380. Trade secret herb. So, boing. Horn of life. Ah. Ah, I don't have enough yet. Base secret behind Grapefruit Falls. Password, I tell. Belchman say, say password, then stand still. Wait for three minutes. There it is. Scary, scary guy, boing. Grapefruit Falls. Scary, barfy, going la la la. Ding, scary. I love these fucking guys. <laughs> oh, I love these goofy bastards. So you want to get ATM here. Good. Uh, so the problem is, yeah, you've got too much shit. Come on, buddy. Show up here. Is it because I'm in Saturn Valley? I need to show up here. Maybe if I exit, he'll show up. Let's just exit really fast. See, I want to clear my... There we go. Hello, this is our Scargo Express. I just uh, couldn't find your location. You must be somewhere really strange. I've decided, honestly, I should give up. I'm out of here. Sometimes this happens, you know? God damn it. Fine. But yeah, that's the problem with Scargo Express. They're not super reliable. All right, fine. I'm just going to have to get rid of some shit. Come, you can sell too. Yep, let's just sell. Let's sell, um... 
now. Let's sell the Holmes hat. Let's get it, get it out of my inventory. Now I can see what's going on here. Silver bracelet. Buy the silver bracelet. Yes. Yep. Nice. Yeah, let's sell the copper bracelet. Yep. Sell Paula. Mm, she doesn't really need to sell any of these, but you know what? Let's get rid of one of those hamburgers. So Paul is one of the few people who can actually equip a ribbon. Good one. Yeah, great charm. That'll replace the travel charm. It's only a difference of one, but I think it makes you immune to something. So we got the great charm and the silver bracelet. Right. No. Ugh. No. Ugh. No, no, no. Stop it. <laughs> sell. Yes, I want to sell something. Um, sell the cheap bracelet. You. Now I can go by. Um, yeah, we'll do the great charm. Should have done that first and then got that one. That's my fault. Um, can't sell the pack of bubble gum. I need to keep that. Sure. Sell the boiled egg. Now we got this. Yeah, the inventory management part of this is not great. But it is. All right. Nope. You're good. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time now. Maybe none of my business, but don't you think it would be a good idea if you took a break? No. I see. It doesn't make me happy, but I understand your point about the fate of the world being at stake. I love if you play the game long enough, your dad will call and be like, uh, you sure you want to take a break? Like, you haven't been sure you haven't been playing this game too long? <laughs> We've just gotten started. Let's see. I don't know if there's anything I really want here. Oh, yeah, the Horn of Life and the Secret Herb. So the secret herb is pretty neat, and the Horn of Life will, will actually resurrect one of your characters. So, but that's a little rich for my blood at the moment. I think that's, I think we're good here. All right. Nope. Good. Um, one thing I will do, though. Well, once we go down and around. Actually, let me make sure there's nothing else up here. We'll talk to this weird Mr. Statter that's at the top. Three to zombie full. I saw a bad stink behind falls. Zoom! <laughs> Nothing else with that. I don't want to go get that in a minute. Talk to this guy. Lots of friends taken behind falls. Why, why, boing? Yeah, so we'll have to rescue some Mr. Saturns out there. So if we go out that door, that just leads to that little ledge. Did you take a coffee break yet? No, the coffee break is after this, I think. Once upon a time, we were many, many. Now we're less, less. Boing. There's a rust promoter inside. Yeah, I really didn't want the rust promoter, but whatever. At least I think the coffee break is after Saturn Valley, after we deal with this. Everybody's full. Yes. Good. Alright. Yeah, 
I love the coffee break. I do find it funny that the coffee break happens right at the difficulty spike. <laughs> it's almost like they're warning you, yeah, it's about to get a lot harder. Yeah, we'll have the coffee break in just a little bit. We have to deal with uh, Master Belch behind the waterfall, behind Grapefruit Falls first. And then once, once Belch is defeated, then we can deal with that shit. Or then we can deal with the coffee break. The Violent Roach. Violent Roach is attacking! Hell yeah! Smash that roach! Yeah, these things have a decent number of HP. Thankfully, they only hit me once. I definitely want to conserve my side points. Well, I didn't know I'd run into a magic butterfly here. But there is a room in the... Oh, sorry. Once we get into the dungeon behind the falls, behind the waterfall, there's a specific room that I remember has a magic butterfly in it all the time. So once we get to that, we can recover a little bit and be a little more liberal with our side point usage. But otherwise, we'll run out of side points really fast. Yeah, for whatever reason, they like to hit Paula a lot. Unfortunately. Thankfully, Paula's kind of not really a glass cannon, but her Psy, her ability to just unleash a shit ton of damage with her Psy abilities is crazy. I think I saw it. You know, when I do Freeze Beta, she does like 300 points of damage to these things, which at this stage of the game is crazy. And she get the kill. <laughs> oh, Ness gained a level. Nice. So Mitch Bay went up by nine. All right. My party is starting to become a little more hardy here. We're much less fragile than we were. Nah, I was kind of hoping we'd get a surprise shot at the zombie later, but oh well. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do fire beta on these things. Although I think freeze is what they're vulnerable to. But since they're in the line, oh, still decent damage to them. Oh my god. Well, at least it happened early. Ah, they're vulnerable to fire and freeze. Good. God damn it. Not that it matters, because I don't think he's even going to do that, but whatever. Paula tried fire beta. Let's just kill these guys. God damn it, Ness. Everybody else is far from home, too. You know. <laughs> you don't see them whining about wanting their mom, buddy. Ugh. It's the most debilitating fucking thing ever. But yeah, he is homesick. But at least it happened early here. So we'll just go, have him call his mom. Mine's bad. I still need to go through and uh, try to figure out what filter might be good for some of the pixelation on this. There we go. Oh, what's wrong? You sound so sad. Are you homesick? Well, I knew there'd be days like this. Must make you feel better listening to your mom's sweet voice. You feel any better? Well, I'd be better. I better get going. I'm in the middle of my ironing. Bye. Ness got over being homesick. Try that again. Actually, since it's free, let's just charge up. Yeah, slumber, KO. Yes. Who knows, maybe Jeff will fix something else. But no. Let's save anyway. Oh, I didn't put any of that money back in the ATM. Eh, fuck it. Whatever. 
we've come this far. I'm not going back up to the drugstore to put it back. That's my fault. I should have put the money back in the machine. Uh, we're already in Saturn Valley. Just go and put the money back into my bank, dude. <laughs> Don't lose your money. So it would suck to die and then lose thousands of dollars. Now dying won't be nearly as painful. That's exactly how it plays out in every playthrough. <laughs> yep. Guaranteed. And I almost feel like superstitiously, if I were taking a roll of the dice at that, feel like it'd be more likely I would die. Everyone forgets to put their money away before leaving Saturn Valley and make the walk of shame back up to the ATM. <laughs> yep. Yep. Ah, it's a pro. Yeah, that's a dodge. The roach does have a high dodge. Vented a terrible odor. Yeah, dodge is like crazy all the time. That should be it. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, I would probably freak out if it leapt forward and flapped its wings too, but like, ah! Thankfully, it doesn't do a tremendous amount of damage, but again, it's attrition. You deal enough of these battles, you start losing a little here, a little there, you gotta use eventually use a Psy. Ability to life up takes its toll after a while. Fine. I mean, I could go down, try and scroll them off, but whatever. We'll do the farm zombie, fire beta, and take out this farm zombie. Holy shit! Alright, well, the farm zombie's dead. Wow, really? Right, I forgot. These guys are so armored that, uh... They, do, they take negligible damage. That should be enough for that, though, still. Side damage. That'll be the end of that. Yep, good. It's almost not even worth trying to hit the armored frogs. Just use Psy abilities. Who needs... Paula got hit, and Jeff got hit. Go. Everybody's back to full. Now, say the password. And now we literally sit here for three minutes. That's that's how this goes. Yep, time to go pee. Yep, that's this is the time to do it. <laughs> we'll be we'll be ready. We'll be waiting. Yeah, there's really nothing, um... Yeah, there's really nothing to do other than just kind of, like, sit around. Just kind of wait for this to go. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm almost... I'm almost there with the... <laughs> that's why there's a waterfall. <laughs> it you that right? It does make you kind of want to go pee. One of our, uh... One of the assistant directors for our academic services, he's got, like, this little, uh... Zen waterfall thing in his office, and I'm like... How does that make you not want to pee all freaking day, man? I would never want something like that. Just adding that level of suggestion to my stupid subconscious. I'd be making a billion freaking restroom breaks during the day. Super 
super awesome. Ugh. It's a beautiful day outside. As we twiddle our thumbs here. Actually, this is the part where I should have taken the pause break, but now I've got a full cup of water, so I'm like, got really nothing else to do here. <laughs> but I am looking forward to getting Fallout 4 programmed and getting ready. That's my secret, Cap. I always gotta be. <laughs> oh, man. It's amazing how great that first Avengers movie was. So great. That's my secret. I'm always angry. Granted, that wasn't in the first one, but uh, or you know what? Now I'm now I'm starting to think about it. Was that the first one? I don't think it was the first one. I feel like that was the second one. We may not be able to save the Earth, but we'll avenge it. <laughs> uh, yeah, get old Avengers. Kind of the highlight of superhero cinema. And God forbid you make the mistake of hitting a button or something. Then you have to restart the timer all over again. I think I made that mistake once where I was sitting there and it was like two and a half minutes, probably. It just felt like it was taking forever. And I'm like, shit, I, you know, do something wrong here. And I moved it around. Then I moved it up. It's like enter the password. I'm like, oh, I just didn't wait long enough. It's also why I put the controller down so I don't accidentally hit a button or you know, anything of that nature. I probably should have looked down at the clock just in case I did hit something. That way, if like four or five minutes go by, <laughs> you know, just like, oh shit, I may have hit something on the controller. There we go. Okay, you may enter. I mean, I'm not sure why they thought that was a good idea, but to me, this is not the greatest of uh, game design. Here we are. And we got all these little mini, mini barfs all over the place. Did you bring some fly honey? It's Master Belch's favorite. Yes, I did. Okay, you may pass through. Hey, be careful. Be sure you don't drop it. Oh, I will be sure. And the foppies. These foppies are awesome. Where is the jar? Good, Jeff's got it. Yeah, these foppies are great for XP. Foppy A. Yeah, we'll just beat it. We'll just beat the shit out of it. They're not really all that dangerous. <laughs> and they are worth a lot of XP. These things are awesome. I actually really enjoy these foppies. Fuck. Not liking the zombies. I could have tried getting out the door, but I was a little worried that I would end up getting caught in an ambush. Since there are three of them, yeah, we're gonna hit them with fire beta. Fuck, yeah, we are. Soften them up. Mop up. Sure, laugh hysterically before you die. And it's over. Yep. Fire beta almost kills them. Sure, we'll take a skip sandwich. Why not? Let's see. Let's dig around the trash can. There's a bomb inside. All right. Well, we got a couple of bombs now. That's nice. Let's deal with these foppies. We'll just beat the shit out of them. Even when they do damage, they don't really do a whole lot. Although I could have just done fire, side fire, and taken out the whole row of them. But I'd rather, I would rather conserve her side points as much as I can. There we go. Offense went up by three, shit. Ah, good. Now Ness has the power of healing beta. So now Ness can heal crying. So if it happens to us again, we're not screwed. Yes, um, uh, can't do anything. Yep. 
she just gained offense up. So if I really need to and things are immune to Psy or whatever, I could boost one person's offense for the duration of the current battle. Uh, yeah, most effective use this power multiple times to layer the effect. Yeah, it is. You just keep offensiving up, it stacks. It's awesome. Oh, look at that. Lambs to the slaughter. Okay, now there's four of them. Sure. And just in case it survives that, then we'll do that. Oh, well, fine. Do that first. Just make both of them waste their psi abilities on it. Whatever. I was just trying to kill them quickly. Oh, well, I would have needed to do fire beta anyway. That's okay. But as you see, when you fight a lot of these, <laughs> you can power level. You get really power level this shit. Oh, here are the Mr. Saturns. No good fly. I think I want to go down. Oh, the mostly bad fly. And in a slimy little pile. What do we got here? Skip sandwich, a bottle rocket, bombs. I think we'll just bash the slimy little pile. Yeah. But you, insecticide spray. <laughs> That'll be the end of the uh, mostly bad flies. Oh, man. There we go. Do decent damage to those guys. Wow. Actually, the insecticide spray kind of sucks, doesn't it? Not liking how much damage I'm taking. You can do fire alpha to that back row. Shoot the slimy little pile. That should take care of the flies. Yep, and it does. Ugh. But at least now we've got a couple of people who are decent at, uh, oh, fucking Christ. Fine. I don't know how much life it has left, but we're just gonna kill it. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, you smiley little vile. But if that were the, the boss battle, now healing beta would take care of it. Which is nice. Be done with this real quick. <laughs> bash, 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 bash. Done. Now I'll light up Paula. We're gonna do the same for. Yep, my little slimy little piles. Yeah, fuck it. Not messing around. Let's end it. Now we know that can that thing can hurt us pretty bad. Well, and it can also make it so we can't really move around a whole lot. Paul is gonna run out of side points really fast. Yeah, let's just do six, soften them up, and then we'll bash the rest of the way. Or that kind of light damage. Yay, more Earthbound. Hey, Deep Fry, how are you, man? We're just kind of hanging out, having a chill Saturday afternoon while we play some Earthbound. We're in uh, Master Belch's dungeon while we try to free this town of Threed. Paul oh, just got another level. Good. Side points went up. Jeff just got a level. Sweet. Let's see what... See the ones who destroyed the zombies that I signed to Threed. <laughs> you encounter the slimy little pile. Let's try Freeze Alpha on it instead. Save some of our side points here. Good, we'll take that.
Hopefully we deal with it now. We're almost there. There we go. Good. Ugh. Trying to remember exactly how all this goes. Yep. But now we got some trash cans we could rummage through. We'll do fire. Yeah, fire alpha. I love the names of these enemies. Mostly bad fly. <laughs> oh, now we're yeah there they're softened up. It's over. Paula should finish it off. Oh, geez, didn't. It probably had a single digit number of HP after that. Now we find out what we actually got up here. Wow, that was pretty nice. Take around the trash can. Vital capsule inside. Nice. Ness. Tally went up by one. HP sucker inside. Nice. We're going to give the HP sucker to Jeff. For sure. The HP sucker is a great little machine. Calorie stick inside. That reminds me. What are the calorie sticks? Calorie stick. When eaten, you recover about 60 HP. All right. So that's not terrible. Here. Yeah, he was down about 60 HP. Not great, but definitely worth coming up here and checking out. Good to be thorough. Now we're going to go back the way we came, head down the ladder this time, and then we'll be near the end of this thing. <laughs> I love how they can say something nasty and you're, you become less brave. <laughs> They could literally hurt your feelings in this game. <laughs> Mostly bad fly. Said something nasty. Hey, buddy. Welcome back. Boppies. Interesting, it's only going to be two of them. Oh, Bullock managed to get a hit. Get hit. Probably want to life up her in a second. See, so yeah, as soon as I get Fallout, my Fallout 4 mod list under control, I deal with Enclave. Ah, yeah, they like to do that. Um, yeah, once I get that installed, I'll be able to start my my newest playthrough of 4 and get through it. Damn, thought I would get the ambush on that. Oh well. Same old creation club. Yeah, the problem is um, for a lot of the mods, they tend to break with the creation club. So I, I usually try to steer away from the creation club content, which is a shame because there's some good stuff in there. And usually like once a week, there'll be something for free that drops on there. So if you're, oh, yeah, come here guys. Um, so if you pick it up, like one, you know, check it once a week and get the freebies, you'd eventually get most of the Creation Club content for free. But yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't play nice with some uh, some mods. Just don't play nice with the Creation Club. Uh, except you get two new Creation Club stuff. Nice XP for all that trouble. Hell yeah. That's kind of why I went after those guys when I saw them there. We like XP. Oh, well, what's this? That's a lot of zombies. Shit. And I didn't uh, heal Paula. That was a mistake. Now let's see. Not do that. Uh, 
Let's see if we can just kill these farm zombies. You know me sticking with the Brotherhood of Steel, hell yeah. These guys should be near near the end here. Oof. That was a huge hit. Jeez, man. Ow. You find this park harder? Uh, oh, this part. Uh, harder uh, or winters? Um, winters is not particularly hard, at least in in my view. Um, now, granted, depending on how you're asking that question, the latter part of Stonehenge can be somewhat tricky. But um, I don't know. Um, what's harder? I would think this is harder than winters. Because you're still in a fairly fragile state at this part of the game. And you can get encounter enemies that, you know, if things don't go your way, a battle can get turned sideways pretty quick. Okay. Let me get rid of this bomb. The bomb really isn't all that useful. Use. And Jeff's gonna eat that IQ capsule. Hell yeah! All right, now what do we got? Let's see here. Broken laser inside. Okay. Damn, we've got a bunch of junk over here. You know what? Uh, now we can speed around a little bit now. Jeff. All right. I'm gonna die soon. <laughs> uh oh. No. Don't. Don't do that, Pokey. <laughs> there are a lot of these guys. Let's just uh, not mess around here. All right. Now we just gotta find that room that I was thinking of that has the magic butterfly in it, and we'll be okay. I love beating the shit out of Paula for some reason. I seem to remember things avoiding Paula, but maybe they just focus on her a lot more instead. And I got a uh, and I got a new haircut. Nice. It's always nice to get a new haircut. Yeah, now the skip sandwich is already run out. Oh. Okay, so we went out here. We went down there. We got that. Wait, am I missing something? I feel like we've gone everywhere now. What did I miss? Am I losing my mind? Um, all right, fine. Really didn't want to use this, but fine. Just recovered 15 side points. Yep. All right. Uh -huh. Yep. And so my options are do nothing or use a Psy attack. I finished all the time trials in uh, 6v. Only two trophies left. Sat here, also the hardest ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh god, isn't that the worst? Where you're so close, it's like, uh, or it's a tedious trophy where it's like, okay, so East Oath of Filgana, which I'm playing through, there is a trophy that I'm halfway through. Those little beetle things at the very bottom of the Ilburn's ruins. You get a trophy if you kill 2,000 of them in all playthroughs. I'm only at like 1,200 after. And this is the third time I've played the game. Now, granted, I've never beaten that game, but after playing through it a decent amount and getting through that area all three times, I'm only halfway through. It's crazy. Like, I don't think it's all that hard, but that that, that trophy looks tedious as shit to get. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, man, I'm so close. But at the same time, very, very far. There we go. And now we can move. That's a lot of hours, right? Here we go, we got it. 
and we got some XP. But I don't know, off stream I may end up going through there and um, and trying to, uh, actually I think I see that room I was looking for, I just didn't see it the first time around. Um, I may just off stream go down there and just try to whirl around and just hang out and kill a bunch of those guys. I mean, it's not going to be really worth it for XP, but it might be neat to get that, that achievement. So far I haven't gotten any achievements on this playthrough, uh, at least not that I'm aware of. But it would be nice to get an achievement of some sort. Well, if we beat the game, I'll get an achievement for finally beating that game. This is the room I was thinking of. Except it didn't show up. But this is the room that has magic butterfly in it. That's the one we want. So this life up Paula. Jeff. Ness. This room does have a magic butterfly in it a lot. There it is. Uh, which uh, which one? Main quest or DLC or random? Uh, what game are we talking about? If we're talking about East Oath of Fulgana, there's no DLC with uh, with that game. Um, if we're talking about Fallout... Um, oh, hold on, let me... Fallout 4. Um, so yeah, I would be doing the main quest. I mean, I'll, I'd, I'd try to do everything again. Um, so... Fallout 4, I've got most of the achievements, but I play with mods, so for the most part, that pretty much stops the, the achievement hunting. But before I did that, before I started playing with mods, I've got like 70% of the achievements or something like that. But I don't have a lot of the Nuka World ones, like collect 2 million tickets. Like, I, no, I didn't I didn't get that achievement. I didn't, I didn't play the Nuka World games long enough to get 2 million or something, whatever, tickets. Um... You know, stuff like that I didn't I didn't actually bother with. Um, so we're one away. Let's get the last one. Uh, you know, yeah, it's tedious. It's just, it's tedious. Um, but it, and I also don't have the get 100% happiness in a settlement one. Uh, I don't have that one either. Um, mostly because that one's bugged and it's hard to get. Like, part of me was like, I already got this. Um, part of me was thinking like, you know, I could get that achievement if I really wanted to. Because if you, so if... If you wanted to get that achievement the way I would do it, if I really wanted to do it, and actually was motivated to do it, which to me is almost like not playing the game, then you're achievement hunting, which some people like. It's not necessarily my cup of tea uh, all the time. Like, achievements are nice if it if it kind of is in the... if it happens to fall into how I play the game, but, like, for that, what I would do is I would probably get two people only, only have two. They would both have jobs. One of them would be in a medic, uh, I got the settlement happiness one with a lot of cats and dogs. Yep, I was just about to say, you get you get with the um, with the contraptions DLC, you get you trap a bunch of cats, uh, so you would have a crap ton of cats. Only two settlers there, so you're not managing a huge list of settlers. You obviously don't have any of them that are robots, uh, or anything else like that. Yeah, like ten cats or something, uh, maybe even twenty, because cats produce happiness. Yep, yep. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you do it early game or not. Don't do it at Sanctuary, because Sanctuary tends to be a bugged settlement. And, um, and yeah, you would just, like, game the system, essentially. Like, if you were, like, if I were, if I were close and only had that one to go, I'd be like, all right, I'll do that. <laughs> but I've built some really elaborate settlements in previous playthroughs. I really got to find pictures of the, um... You know what? No, I, I sold my PS4. So, no, those pictures are gone. Because, um, yeah, I had taken screenshots of some really elaborate settlements that I built. Shit, yeah, I'd have to rebuild all of those. But, I mean, when I play the game again, I'm going to do settlement building because it's a really fun part of the game for me anyway. Um, so, yeah, we'll just do freeze beta on Slimy Little Pile. Uh, fuck that thing in particular. <laughs> And, uh, and then I would just do it that way. I mean, it's a little cheesy, but it works. But yeah, the way the game system, the way the game engine is really work, uh, works in that game. Unless you metagame it, it's really difficult to get 100% happiness in a, in a, in a settlement. My PS4 was lagging something fierce when I turned the Red Rocket gas station to the Cumminal's biggest dog and cat kennel. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, and, um... Yeah, when, so what, help, what helped with the PS4 with settlement building is the exploit where um, if you drop an item and then you're in the settlement thing and you store it, 
it will substitute it, it basically will will use that store function to lower your settlement quota so if you drop say something with a lot of polygons like oh i don't know a gatling laser <laughs> you can actually see that settlement build limit decrease vid visually so you just store the gatling laser go actually back into the workshop take the Gatling laser back into your uh, inventory or something else that has a ridiculous, you know, polygon limit. Um, you don't want something simple. You want it to have something that has a lot of polygons in it. And uh, then you drop the Gatling laser again, go into your build, uh, your build mode, highlight the item, store it again, and just rinse and repeat until your, your build limit goes way, way down, and then you just keep building again. So yeah, even on PS4, I had some crazy huge builds and yeah the ps4 would just the frame rate would plummet to like 10 in some of those settlements it would lag something fierce aren't you the fly honey delivery boy what's the password it doesn't mean i don't trust you just say it say it now someone so quiet is either extremely shy or extremely dangerous what a suspicious fellow <laughs> So yeah, the, the poor PS4, man. It was so underpowered for that game. It really was funny. But I that's how I played that game initially. Uh, and I, I did enjoy it. I played the crap the crap out of it. And then I, uh, you know, got it for Steam and started playing it with mods and just never looked back. Only way to unlag that particular part of the map was to erase the red rocket off the map. Time for brain shit. <laughs> Alright, so here... Here we're gonna cheese this. Granted, the game gives you all of the means to cheese it. <laughs> I love this. So, you are Ness? I see, Gork Gork Gork. There's a prophecy that a boy will destroy Master Gygus. <laughs> you make me laugh so hard. If Master Gygus is scared of someone, he would have to be worse than the greatest evil. <clears throat> I'll take you down big time, so get ready for the worst fight of your life. Get ready to feel the pain of true nausea. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Burp, Morty, we must fight Morty, burp. <laughs> and so yeah, now we, we cheese this. We cheese this hard. Uh... Yeah, we'll just bash and shoot. Oh yeah, she does nothing for that. Yep, Master Bell, just grab the fly, honey. <laughs> See, and now, now Paula's nauseous. I don't know if healing Beta will heal Paula. I don't know if it does. But yeah, we may as well at least try. Actually, let's spy on him. Oh, yeah, now I'm really glad I did that. Holy shit. His offense. Wow, his... Oh, he's open to hypnosis. Nice. Okay, good. Whew. That would have been bad. Um, actually... So we could do hypnosis if we really wanted to. Yeah, fuck it. Let's do hypnosis. Freeze beta! <laughs> Why, thank you, Freakbot, for the lurk. We'll see you a little bit later. I think I had fractional FPS for like... <laughs> I bet. I bet. Because I've done that. I've done that. And that poor PS4, it just can't handle it. Fallout New Vegas, be like, I'm going to fuck the person who killed me. Yeah, right? <laughs> so Freakbot is playing uh, Fallout New Vegas now, Pokey. So if you want to tune into Freakbot's channel at some point, I'm sure you'll enjoy that. Did I do freeze? I don't know if I did freeze. Oh yeah, we'll do freeze and then we'll just shoot. Works every time. <laughs> Granted, he's just gonna wake up when I back him again. So, I don't know why that was even... I don't know why I bothered. But we'll just do this. Yeah, gotta love this, like, chill... Ominous... Oh, okay, well that was it. Jeez, he didn't even, like, waste time going after the fly honey. Because, yeah, at some point he just eats the fly honey and doesn't do anything else. But, yeah, we just curb stomped him anyway, even before the fly honey debuff kicked in. 
Well, that was not... Wow, Ness didn't gain a level from that. Holy shit. All right, Paula now has Magnet. Sweet. He may gain two levels, but let's see. Good, his IQ went up a lot. Nope, we only gained one level. Looks like it was an even fight, but Master Gigas has managed to get the Manny Manny statue into Foreside. Oh, God. The city will soon be in worse condition than living in your own puke. Suffer, Spanky. <laughs> uh, that's not funny, Pokey. Dog meat's best boy. Don't stab him. He's such a good boy. I escaped. Zoom. Burp. Boing. Goody. Burp. <laughs> Fucking Mr. Saturns. You were worn down? Why? Boing, burp, barf, stinky pew. Yeah, we, we reek because we went through that horrendously awful dungeon. Go in hot spring. Wash barf off your body. <laughs> and so that's the coffee that uh, Freakbot was talking about. You got in and washed off all the extremely dirty gunk off your body. Longer ladder. Go to hot spring. Drink coffee before go? Say yes to me. So yes. Bottoms up, boing. I love the coffee breaks for these. But yeah, this is also indicative that there is a difficulty spike coming up right now. But the music for this is also really just chill and cool. So there, I mean, there are some theories, but I can't get into that without spoiler territory for it. And so I'd, I'd really rather finish my Fallout 4 playthrough before getting into dog meat speculation, even though I'm not playing Fallout 4 right now. But, but yeah, do you remember how your long and winding journey began with someone pounding at your door? It was Pokey, the worst person in your neighborhood and possibly the worst person in NPC in, in RPG history, who knocked on the door that fateful night. <laughs> the edible kicked in, yeah, right? On your way, you have walked, thought, and fought. Yet through all this, you have never lost your courage. You have grown steadily stronger, though you have experienced the pain of battle many times. Yeah, we've had to go to the hospital to pick up some people that went to the ER. You are no longer alone in your adventure. Paula, who is steadfast, kind, and even pretty, is always at your side. Jeff is with you as well. Though he is timid, he came from a distant land to help you. Ness, as you certainly know by now, you are not regular young man. Really? His name is Pokey? Why? <laughs> uh, you have an awesome destiny to fulfill. Yeah. The journey from this point will be long, and it will be more difficult than anything you have undergone at this point. Yeah, it. there is a definitely a difficulty spike coming right now. Yet, I know you will be all right. When good battles evil, which side do you believe wins? Do you have faith that good is triumphant? And his brother's name is Picky. <laughs> Pokey and Picky. <laughs> uh, one thing you must never lose is courage. If you believe in the goal that you are striving for, you will be courageous. There are many difficult times ahead. But you must keep your sense of humor, work through the tough situations, and enjoy yourself. <laughs> when you have finished this very long cup of coffee, your adventure will begin anew. Well, again. Next, you must pass through a vast desert and proceed to the big city of Forside. And Forside is a really cool area. If I remember correctly, Deep Fry's favorite area is Foreside, so we're we're closing in on it. Ness, Paula, Jeff. I wish you luck. <laughs> this game is about to mix lemon juice into the rubbing alcohol and sprinkle salt into the band-aids. This is I totally agree. It's such an underrated scene. The music is so, so good for it, too. Um, and there's another coffee break later, but, but yeah, I love, I absolutely love that they included the coffee break, uh, in this. 
War. War never changes. <laughs> So now we're going to proceed to Lily put footsteps. Milky well. Yep. <sighs> you know what? Let's uh let's actually go downstairs real quick. Let's just save the game really fast. I'm still not buying the horn of life. <laughs> it dies instantly, right? That's what I'm worried about. That's precisely what I'm worried about. <laughs> but essentially since we've defeated uh, Master uh, Belch, then it's time to uh, save. And now we're going to go to the Sanctuary location. When this guy shows up to harsh my mellow, hit with his fuzzy pickles. <laughs> Although it is cool at the end of the game when the credits are playing and you see all of those screenshots. Uh, I'm joining Kellogg now. <laughs> I'm sure there's a mod out there that lets you join Kellogg. Although, I personally am not a fan of that dude. Oh, here we go. Now we're fight much tougher enemies here. The Ranboob and Cohort. I don't actually remember what it's vulnerable to. Yeah, Paula's attack damage is just shit. Maybe I should just go back and give her a better one. Oh, fuck. It fucking got a shield. It's vulnerable to fire. Alright, so we need to do fire. Now it's gonna take half fucking damage, whatever. Yeah, let's just kill both of you. <laughs> let's be done with that. Dope weapon, though. Oh, no. Yeah, that's not terrible. Let's see. Like, okay questions? Does the pictures change at the credits if you miss pictures? Um, uh, yes, I have done that experiment, uh, Deep Fry. Um, now I think it only plays a certain number of pictures, but I have beaten the game and then gone through one of the areas that it will take a picture. I, I don't want to go into details exactly how I did that experiment, but what I did was I beat the game and then, um, I loaded the save, did something a little different, made sure to have him show up, take the picture, beat the game again, and that picture that hadn't shown up that time then did play for the credits that time. So yeah, not only it does truly take screenshots, but uh but it will it will show them all. So I don't know if it what it does is it just takes the screenshots and uh depending on which one you do, it just divides that time by half and then it plays them. Or if it only has a certain number of pool that it will draw from. And this just adds to that pool. I don't know the exact science behind it, but it will, but it does do that. Um, it will, it does actually take screenshots because I've done it where you had a teddy bear and didn't have a teddy bear. And when it took the screenshot of the teddy bear, the teddy bear shows up in the credits. Uh, yeah, it's, it was just such a cool thing for a Super Nintendo game. Yeah, it absolutely. Um, so yeah, if you miss areas that, like if you miss an area where he should come down, that spot won't show up in the credits. You have to actually make him show up, take the picture for it to actually get added as a screenshot. And it is a true screenshot. It's not just something programmed where they generated it beforehand. It's it's just really, really cool. That's such a nice touch. I mean, it gets a little tedious when you're going through it and it just happens over and over and over again. <laughs> Fucking man boob. But yeah, I love this shit. Uh, you know what? Right. Uh, Paul is running a little low on side points here. Let's bash the Strut and Evil Mushroom A. Yeah, these enemies, they do start getting really tough really quick. Uh, <laughs> they just do. Let's shoot the Ranboob. And we may end up just going back and... You know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what we should do. Well, let's head back. We'll sleep. And then we'll save it again, and then we'll come back out here and we'll just deal with all this shit. Good. Hopefully kill the Ramboob. Yeah, it's gonna drain me. Of course it is. Yep, the worst person to drain it from, too. Alright, now let's deal with the Tough Mobile Sprout. The problem is the mo Tough Mobile Sprout can sprout seeds and replicate itself. Time to exit. 
Wow, we got a lot of XP for that, though. Holy shit. Oh, now we got a Hypnosis Omega. So normally, I don't think much of Hypnosis, but when you get Hypnosis Omega, now all of a sudden you can Hypnosis everybody, and the ones that fell asleep, you just attack the other ones. And you just ignore the one that's asleep, and it'll just stay asleep for a while. Oh, I rubbed my eyes again. That was dumb. Seraph, why do you do that? And now we do half damage to it instead. So the Shield of Light is just a shield that, for physical damage, is now just half damage. Yeah, I want to actually do damage to you. Oh, wow, that didn't do fucking much damage at all. Okay, don't do that again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, this... Hey, cat! Hello, Cleo! This is just annoying. Well, we'll kill it, but yeah. They're just making it take longer than it should. I like that we're still getting XP. Ooh, thunder, nice. There she has lightning. Lightning attacks. So now back down. Let's... Let's sleep. We'll regenerate all our Psy points. And then we'll try and make our way over to uh, Milky Well. The nice part about Jeff with the spy ability, we don't have to just throw, you know, kitchen. We don't have to just throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks. We can just have Jeff spy in it tell us. Ooh, there we go. Magnum air gun. Sweet. This, you know, it really might be, and I, it, it, it really, really might be, uh, cause yeah, this, this gets really challenging. Um, the enemies are a lot tougher. Yeah, it really could be. Really, really, really could be, man. Uh, <laughs> maybe Fire Springs. Yeah, Fire Springs. Yeah, Fire Springs is really tough. Cause the problem with Fire Springs is, um... God, you get things that explode. I mean, without getting into spoiler territory for the Fire Springs area, but, um, but yeah, you get things that uh, can do some serious damage to you. They can do debilitating things depending on the RNG. The boss of that area <laughs> is very tough, has a lot of HP. See if we can just do this. Although that maybe, yeah, let's just do this. But yeah, I agree with that. Fire Springs is very tough, very tough. Yeah, we're just not not mess around. This is a part where I kind of wish I had gone back for the exit mouse. But we're stuck in Threed. We actually can't... At this point, we cannot leave Threed. <laughs> we cannot go home. Um, we are actually legitimately stuck here, so we can't go back to Onet and pick up an exit mouse. We just do not have that option at the moment. And yeah, it's not a particularly long... Oh, fucking Christ. Yeah, it's not a particularly long area. But boy, does it... Does it bring the heat. Yeah, let's just shoot the ramp up here. Oh, no! No! That's another part that makes this really hard. Really, really hard. Um... Fuck! And yeah, you get a couple of your party members that feel strange, and it's it's just like game over, because they'll they'll just keep hurting everybody else. Yep. Jeff hit himself, and it doesn't undo it. Fuck. Alright, you need to do rockin' beta. Absolutely. You feel strange, so no, you can defend. I don't need me hitting myself. Oh my god. Paul is now poisoned. She just took damage for being on guard. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of the reasons why this area is really, really hard. Uh, after this, I'm just gonna try to run away. 
Actually, you know what? I may just stick around and try to do more damage to these guys. There we go. Okay, we killed them. All right, but now we need to leave and heal up. We're, we're, we're now completely out of commission because we don't have the ability to heal uh, from this shit. I don't think healing beta... Well, healing beta might help with the poison, but she's still confused, so it doesn't really... Oh, fuck. All right, you know what? Let's at least life up Paula. We'll life up Paula and we'll life up Jeff. And we'll just... We'll blast our way through these guys. Yeah, it's brutal if you get if you get confused. Confusion is such an awful status effect. I hate con either confused or charmed in RPGs. It's it's so debilitating. <laughs> yeah, we'll just kill these guys and defend and defend because again, um, because they're now. Um, because of that mushroom confusion effect, if you choose to attack, they're probably attacking you, most likely. That's all right. We'll back out. That was bad luck that we both got confusion spores sprinkled on us. And when Ness is confused, the uh, directions on the controller will change. <laughs> so then right becomes left. And then you have to hold that down and it shifts randomly. It's super awesome. And by I, that is that is with as much sarcasm as I can load that sentence with. It's it's dreadful and I hate it. <laughs> yep. Repair my body, please. Yep. All right. Back out we go. Save again. Rinse and repeat. But yeah, this area can be really tough because this is the way to do it. You know, if you get if you get confused, sometimes it's all you can do is just come back. Come back, re rearm. Oh, we got another. Okay, well, at least we're getting better weapons for Jeff. Shit, man. Really? Okay, yeah, we'll take that. All right, Jeff now has some really good offense. Nice. We're making a lot of money. Ness is actually going to level up pretty soon. Yep. And just. Just in case, let's just call mom. <laughs> I heard you got a new girlfriend on your journey. Well, why don't you tell about her later? You see, I have this feeling she's right next to you right now or something. Well, she is right there. Say hello to her for me. I have to go now. I'm right in the middle of cleaning the toilet. Bye. <laughs> I mean, the, some of the text is hilarious. It's like, mom, I'm 12. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> I almost want to go and check and see if we could buy some better stuff, but I think we we picked up as good as we could. I mean, maybe I could get the slingshot for Paula, but the slingshot loves to fucking miss. So I think instead of 95% chance to hit, it's like 70 or something. So, I mean, you still hit a decent amount of time, but you miss a lot more. To me, it's just not worth it. And it just, you still end up not really doing as much damage as you really should. Yeah, let's do it. <clears throat> and hopefully we don't encounter any more mushrooms. Let's see how much damage... Oh. Fucking shield. Yeah, there we go. We'll take down this shield real quick. Oh, no, no. Okay, good. All right, I can deal with that. Oh, and that's the interesting thing. When Ness is um, incapacitated, the next character up gets the auto fight or run away option. So, I mean, I could pray all... You know what? I could have prayed just to see what... You know, if we could have gotten healed. That's true. Could have done that. Well, that woke Ness up. Now his shield is gone. There we go. That's the end of that. So that was perfect for Paula. She wasn't doing a whole lot of damage anyway, but she took down that shield. There we go. Offense goes up by four. Nice. Luck went up by about... Wow. HP really went up. Nice. Okay, we, we needed that. This is fine. Yeah, as long as the mushrooms aren't there. Fuck it. We'll continue. <clears throat> Damn, those mushrooms. Yeah, let's just do that. 
and we'll pick on the mobile sprout. Oh, and it dodges both times. Shit. Yeah, Alright, fine. Good, yeah. Please try to drain from Jeff. Um, yeah, let's just do that. That's enough for the mobile sprout. Because when you do the shield of light, side points still do full damage. Now there's a psychic shield that will protect against psychic stuff, but you can't have a psychic shield up and a shield of light up at the same time. So you kind of have to pick one. Yeah. All right. Therein lays the game balance. Hey, cat. Right. So. So one way you could do this is just to do that scroll thing. Come here, cat. Come on, Cleo. What's up, honey? Come here, girl. I know I love you, too. Hello. Yeah, let's go after the mobile sprout because they can drain me and I need as much side as many side points as I can. So I'll just use it. I'd rather just use my side points rather than have them get drained. Damn it. Well, whatever. That's still going to do a shit ton of damage to you guys. Good. We killed the mobile sprout. Whatever. We'll just bash it. That shield is going to go down in a second. There we go. Wow. We still managed... <laughs> that would have done 204 points of damage. Nice. Hello, kitty kitty. So my co-host has joined me. She's sitting on my foot. Say hi to everybody, Cleo. Just fire. Vulnerable to fire. Yeah, we'll shoot the mobile sprout. Good, yeah. I would much rather just attack. Because it doesn't do a whole lot of damage. At this point, now it's... Yeah, it can't drain me now. Of course, now Paula's already used half of her side points. Not great. Oh yeah, get away from that fucking mushroom. Here. Yeah, boy. Perfect. Thank you. Magic butterfly helped us relax, rejuvenate, recover some psi points. There we go. Much better. Okay. All right, so we've reached the cave. Point of slumber inside. Yes, I think I will take the coin of slumber. Goddamn. <laughs> also, I think the coin of slumber must be equipped as other, increases your defense and luck. Oh, that's all it does. Okay. It doesn't make you immune to slumber or anything. All right. I do not remember what this thing might be weak to, but we'll have Jeff spy on it. Here we go. Hopefully we can kill it finally got here. This is the third, your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. Alright, the Trilliage Sprout. I want to say... It's vulnerable to paralysis. I don't remember if it is or not. I think it's vulnerable to freeze. I should have just waited, but yeah, we'll spy on it. We'll do that twice. Now take care of the mobile sprouts. Yeah, that's the problem. The magnet. Good. Yeah, thank you for using it on Jeff. Offense 54. Get vulnerable to fire. Yeah. I didn't remember. Maybe there's no way to cheese this fight. So that part sucks. Actually, let's do... Let's kill that. Because even though it's weak to fire, you do more damage this way. Oh, fuck it. Fuck yeah. Good. Now I can't move. 
Thank you. Yeah, I love when it attacks and it just misses. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking around for where Cleo went. Jeff needs to be the uh, side point attack tank. Yeah, everyone hit Jeff's side points. <laughs> Seriously, man. But yeah, she does more damage to it by that. And it's more um, side point efficient. So we'll just do this. Just kind of whittle away at it. And I'll keep Ness as a heal bot. Ness will just attack, do that. Because, yeah, I, I would do more damage with fire beta, but it's 12 versus 9. I'd rather just do that. We'll do the HP sucker. Recover some HP. Oh, it doesn't even work on it. Damn. Well, life up, Jeff. Hola. Freeze beta it. Just keep, keep at it. Yeah, we'll keep shooting. Just kind of whittle away at it. It's a tough boss, man. Nope. Just as I started saying, like, this thing is fairly tough. But, yeah, there, that, that, that's it. Wow, we gained 11,000 XP for it. But yeah, it's not a very deep area. Paralysis Omega. Nice. Um, but yeah, as Deep Fred was talking about, like, this area isn't very long or deep, but yeah, the enemies that are in it are really tough, and they can just really fuck you up. And they're all the Trillage Spouts that, um, nice. Very nice. And she got, uh, Shield, uh, Epsilon, or Shield Sigma. There we go. We got Milky Well. Let's capture the melody. Ness thought he heard his mutter. Far away, she said. Be a thoughtful, strong boy. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of the Milky Well. And so what we could do is we can go into the soundstone, and if we use it, we touch it, we gather strength and all that, and you can start hearing the whole thing play. So the more of these we pick up, the longer the melody gets. Also, great game design to have the hot springs and the free heal nearby. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my god. Can you imagine if you didn't have the free heal nearby and that hot spring? Oh my god. Uh, I made a grave mistake. I opened a pack of Milano cookies. I shan't survive the weekend. <laughs> yeah, I actually forgot to pick up some extra cookies. Uh this weekend. I meant to go pick up some Toll House to bake. Just didn't get around to it. But yeah, now we're gonna just beat the shit out of these guys and get some free XP. We like the surprise opening attacks. Much easier when you get a free surprise attack on them. Much easier. We're definitely going to take advantage of that. We're, we're already back. Yeah, we're already at max. No. I love the fact that they run from you, so it's easy to do. You would have the auto win if the other one didn't run up. Yeah, probably. Totally agree. But nope, it made us waste time, waste side points. Now it's over. XP time! I love the auto win mechanic in this game. I wish more games did that. Same thing. Hmm. 
<laughs> Never gets old doing shit tons of damage to things. Jeff might actually have... Yeah, he's the same offense as Ness does. Although, with a couple of levels... Uh, Ness is still a couple of levels over Jeff, and yet Jeff is doing the same amount of damage. Not too bad. Thanks to that laser gun or laser pistol that he repaired. <laughs> Helps to be a genius. Free XP. Basically. Uh, I have to figure out what I'm doing for dinner. So I'm kind of light on stuff. I kind of feel like a public sub. Oh, shit. Okay, Ness. He really hated that little sentient plant. <laughs> I wonder. Might just do Sal's too. All right, levels up to 30. All, oh wow, wow, her offense went up by four. Granted, her offense is generally generally kind of sucks, but still, her offense is now much less shitty. Yeah, I'm not even fighting these. Nope, not even fighting a mushroom. You guys could sit there. Ah, uh, fine. We'll do the auto. At least we get... We're definitely gonna kill these guys, though. Not not taking any chances. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on. <laughs> wow, she killed that one outright. Nope. Nope, kill all of you with extreme prejudice. Probably had like 20 hit points left at that point anyway. And we gained another... Oh my god. Nice. And his, age, and his IQ continues to go up. And the higher his IQ, the... Um, what he can repair is wholly dependent on his... So I think the hot spring recovers us automatically. No, the hot spring must just recover status ailments. Which is fine. Now we can get out of here, and we can start making our way to Foreside. We do have to go through a desert first, thanks to the cup of- the hallucinogenic cup of coffee we took. <laughs> but let's... Let's take a quick nap. Yes, slumber! I wish to slumber, K.O. Yeah, we'll see. Got a lot of money in the bank now. Uh, Just don't get any poo in the hot springs. So, uh, I don't know if you've played Earthbound, uh, Dark Star, but, uh, <laughs> I don't, uh, if you haven't played, uh, if you've not played Earthbound, that is, uh, that's actually a greater sentence than you have, than you, than you could possibly know. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume you have played Earthbound, and that was a very witty pun. <laughs> Let's see what happens with this. There we go. Now this should be the end of the Violent Roach. <laughs> That's awesome. Once we get to the other part of the game, I will be happy to uh, elucidate why that comment's awesome. <laughs> it knitted its brow, and now it's gonna get the shit kicked out of it. Now, once we get to Foreside, we'll be able to get Paula a much better melee weapon. She's still not going to be great offensively, but she'll be better than this. Yeah, now we're back into this area. Plain Crocodile and its cohort, another Plain Crocodile. 
Yeah, we'll just do that. I think that's what really does a lot of damage to it. Well, let's spy on it anyway, just to see what it's vulnerable to. <laughs> that's the end of that brain crocodile. Defense 40, defense 55. Oh, vulnerable to freeze. Okay. Well, at this point, this one's done anyway. <sighs> yeah, Jeff does a nice bit of damage, man. That laser gun is awesome. These are still worth a good amount of XP, too. Actually, take a look. Status. So, about 7,000 XP to the next level. Same for Paula. and Yeah, Jeff's a little behind. But now Ness is level 30, and, every, and Paula and Jeff are level 28. So they're... It took a little while, but now the gang is uh, properly leveled. Got a bunch of flies and a frog here. Ugh. All right. Frog. Unfortunately, we have to use fire on the back row. That part kind of sucks, but oh well. Because that armored frog doesn't take any damage from physical, practically at all. And it's only vulnerable to fire. So it is what it is. I think at this point it should be almost dead, though. So I don't think I have to do that twice. <laughs> yeah, I, fi I figured. I'm like, there's no way that was coincidence. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. That, his best weapon can be challenging. Although, the last two times I've played this game, I did manage to get his best weapon each time. It's awesome. Actually, the last time Freakbot played the game, he got best weapon. But it can take a really long time. Um, the first time I really tried to get the weapon you're alluding to, I think I just farmed that area for like a week. And then finally I went, I'm not going to get it. I'm just going to keep going. But literally every every day when I got home from school, because I was in high school at the time, every day I got home from school for a week, tried to get that thing and it, sh it just wouldn't, it just wouldn't drop. The damn thing. Well, there's a one in 128 chance for some of the best weapons in the game. It's, it's just really unlikely. <laughs> So, I mean, and it's not like, oh, play, you know, defeat 128 of them. Also, great music incoming. Yes. Yes, it is. God, this game is just so awesome in every way. It's just chill. You kind of hang out, you relax. And even in battles, we're... Hey, people, thank you for bringing peace and happiness back to Threed. Thanks. Peace, love. I really didn't think those kids could have saved the town. Who'd have ever imagined it? Since the leader of the monsters is gone, the ghosts in the tunnels have disappeared. The buses can get through the tunnel now. I won't forget you. Won't you come back to Threed sometime? Yes, I will. And now we can actually wander through Threed. Alrighty. Now we can wander through Threed and, um, and not get accosted by fucked up shit. I want to go through the desert and onto the big city. I want to see the city and I want to smell like the big city. I'm a real urban type guy. <laughs> Thank you. Sweet. Everybody's pretty happy about it. You're heroes. That rocks. Actually, we're pretty. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape. Let's just keep. Let's just keep going to the desert. I don't need to stay at the hotel. Let's get out of here. Looks like the nest bucks will come pretty soon. And two, three times as much off-stream time spent farming that fucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cause I'm not stream. I'm not. I am not going to stream my effort to farm that weapon. I'm not going to do that to you guys. We're off. Head to the desert. Oh yeah, I forgot about the Mohawk guy. Oh, right, and there's the trash can. I forget what's in that trash can.
<laughs> Man, it's bumper to bumper. My job is to drive, so I can't get off the bus. It's up to you if you want to walk uh, around the desert. Hey, it's a free country. Yep, and here we are. All right, so yeah, this part kind of sucks. It was the back half of one stream and the front half of the next one as far as on stream time spent trying to get it. Oh, you stream this game. Nice. Yeah, it's 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 a process, man. Welcome to the very end of the world's longest traffic jam. Yeah, I feel sorry for the guys behind me, but I'm so bent. I'm leaving my car here and walking instead. So the problem with this area is you can get heat stroke. And so we have to be very careful as we walk around this area. Yep, this traffic jam is taking forever. Man, do I need to go. And so, uh, yeah, we're going to need to go to the good drugstore. And I'm going to call Escargo Express, who's going to finally pick up... Wait, do you know about the insignificant item? Uh, wait, do you know about the insignificant item? I feel like yes, but um, let's go into the drugstore here. Uh, but we're going to call Escargo Express, and we're going to finally get um, Tracy to pick up some shit for us. Me, Tracy, I'm working part-time for Scargo Express. What can I do? Yeah, pick up, please. Store something for you. I'll send someone immediately to me. Pick it up. Yeah, let's let's make some room first. The insignificant item. Feel like yes. I mean I've played I've played the absolute shit out of this game. Go to the hospital in three and check one of the drawers. Actually, maybe not. You know, maybe we will go back and check that out. We'll check that out. I will check that out, Deep Fry, because I don't think so. Um, that doesn't sound familiar, so maybe not. That would be actually really cool to uh, do something we've never actually done. We're going to go for the really, really, really complete Monoscargo Express. Hurry up and get here. I don't want to be walking. So the road is safe, but um, I mean, shit, I could just walk back to Threed. But I don't want to, um... Uh... Come on, Escargo Express. God damn. Hurry up and get here so we can get on the bus and go back to Threed. I fucking hate how long Escargo Express takes to show up sometimes. I do like the music of this area, though. I think if we just wait, they'll show up. I don't think we have to be moving. There it is. Oh, come on. Couldn't find the... Oh, you god damn it. I'm not in any real strange place, dude. Whatever. All right, so let's head back. I'm just... Fuck. All right, so we'd have to walk back to Threed. Um, then deliver it to the hospital. Oh, okay. Well... <clears throat> Yeah, let's... Fuck. Really don't want to walk all the way back right now. Um, let's clear the traffic jam and then and then we'll, we'll, we'll give that a whirl. Really sucks about... Eh, God damn it. Sucks that Escargo Express won't come out here. Let's see. Maybe I could just sell some shit. Yeah, we could just sell some stuff. Let's sell. Fine. Let's, um... Oh, why does Ness have the broken machine? I need to get rid of that. Alright, sell the hard hat. Yes. Did not want to do that, but... You know what? Sure. Oh, yeah. That would be a problem. Let's sell that. Next, sell the skip sandwich. Sell that. That's fine. We're going to sell some stuff here. I'm going to keep the bottle rocket and just give that to Jeff in a second. At this point, we don't need the jar of fly honey anymore. It never will serve a purpose for us. Same with the backstage pass. Um, sell the croissant. We don't need a billion healing items. Sell. Yeah, we don't need the toy air gun anymore. Sell that. Sell you. No, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I appreciate that. Yeah, it sounds like it's something I've never gotten. So let's we'll we'll, we'll definitely check it out in a second. Um, 
I would just prefer to take the bus back rather than walk that entire distance. It's gonna take us a little while. Back to gun, we'll sell that. Can't buy. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, all right. Let's uh, let's withdraw some money. Actually, you know what we could do? Let me go to the other one. Maybe it thinks I'm trying to take the the bus to Foreside. Now we'll buy the Mr. Baseball. That. Yep. Equip it to Ness. Yeah, a little bit of a difference there. Take a look. Yes, the deluxe fry pan for sure. Paula. Yeah, her offense just increased a bunch. Good. So basic point of slumber. Yeah, it means expensive, but let's do it. Sure, we'll buy the red ribbon. Please do. Okay. What else do you have for sale? Yeah, that's it for that. Nope. Let's go to you. Yeah, we're gonna need a couple of wet towels because that's what will um, recover the sunstroke. Although we've got healing beta, so we've got that. There's a refreshing herb that we may need too. But the wet towel will uh, heal the sunstroke. We should at least carry one in case. Yeah, we'll just give it to Paula. Because we're gonna need it. We will, we will definitely need it. Let's see. Let's see if I can... See if I do this one instead. Damn. Yeah, I can't, can't head out that way either. Alright, well let's head... Head through the desert. Well, that was nice. <laughs> Take out this fucker. Don't talk too loud. What do you want? Let's see what you got. Zip gun, but I've got a better... I've got something better. Yeah, no. Nope. You're good. Welcome! Our paradise exists beneath that hole. Talarama is great and kind, and he knows everything Talarama does. He made us the underground rooms. Right. We're eventually going to come back here. And this is a very annoying dungeon. <laughs> Talarama is now fasting and practicing silent meditation. He's also abstaining from anything that would make him sick or smelly, too. Please don't bother him. All right. We're not going to bother him for right now, but we'll need to come back here later. And oh boy, is that an interesting dungeon. So good, that's a magic butterfly, not that we need it. Oh, here's a fucking scorpion. To engage the scalpion. Pretty sure the scalpion is vulnerable to that. Well, let's find out. Okay, good. I'm not worried unless it uh, tries to paralyze me or uh, poison me. Vulnerable to fire, freeze, open hypnosis. Yeah. Not vulnerable to that. Let's just try to beat the shit out of it. Yeah, that's the part. God damn it. it is what it is, man. It is what it is. It was going to poison me even if Ness had bashed it. Okay. Uh, yes. Healing beta is necessary to heal poison. Jesus, that fucking butterfly is just gone. Take the double burger. These fucking things. Oh, I hate these things. I love this music! Yeah, 
let's spy on the smiling sphere. Oh my god! Yeah, there was nothing I could do about that. Jesus. Uh, fuck! Bash it. Let's try that. Well, I still will take one hit. Man, that would have killed Paula. Jesus. Yeah. For these, usually Thunder is a good option. Come on. Damn it. Of course, the problem is it has a low hit. I should have just done Freeze. Yeah, that's the problem. But it's alright, it's dead now. Okay, I guess we're going back to three the hard way. I can't... Uh, yeah. Life up, Alpha, Paula. I can do it. Oh, come on! Damn, damn, damn. No. Right. Maybe she can... That's one of the reasons why I don't really like to pray. I was hoping I could get Jeff to come back without having to go back. Pray is very random. And I just need to run away at this point. It's time to run away. It's time to bravely, bravely run away. Paul is dead. Come on, get away. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So that went poorly. Well, it looks like we're going to check out the insignificant thing in a sec. It looks like we are checking out the insignificant lead after all. <laughs> Back to three we go. Good grief. It was meant to be a deep fry. It was meant to be. <laughs> oh my God. Shit. Man, if I had gotten the bike, I could put on the bike now and just... Oh. I could have ridden the bicycle and gone a lot faster. Oh well. <laughs> oh my God. You know what? I may have a skip sandwich. Although I think I sold, I just sold the skip sandwich. Damn it. I did just sell the skip sandwich, didn't I? Oh, you know what? Give Ness. Good point. There we go. Good point, deep fry. Good point. I'm like, oh yeah, I've got one of those. And the deluxe at least lasts a while. Perfect. Now we can talk to some of these guys. From the bus stop at the hotel all the way to Foreside is how much? Do you remember? Not important. Well, let's see here. There's a skip sandwich inside. Well, so we got our skip sandwich that we just spent. Oops, now I got belched for a nickname. Oh, crud. Yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> That's all right. That skip sandwich deluxe got us where we needed to go. Oh, dude, like my old girlfriend from Tucson hunted me down, man. I'm totally bummed because I have another girlfriend here in three. <laughs> oh, no. I decided to come and see my boyfriend. I really shouldn't have, though. Yeah. Check him out. I think he's the bee's knees. I mean, way cool. He used to be in a band. Oh, you poor stupid bastard. <laughs> Bakery is next door. Right, so now we need to go to the hotel. Oh, the hospital's over there. Right. Go over to the hospital. Let's go check uh, check this out. I feel like I've I feel like that sounded familiar though. So now I'm like, I guess we'll find out if I uh, if I've done this or not. Good. 
hitting the wrong button. So he's expecting it to take a button press, get there. Yep. You. Head up. Now that our party is restored, take a look around here. It was an insignificant I a, it's supposed to be an insignificant item in the drawer? Huh. Paula got the insignificant item. Alright. Interesting. I wonder, if I've ever, I wonder if this is the first time I've ever done this. That's interesting. I'm not afraid of no zombie. When they come out, I'll beat them by myself. Actually, I don't want them to come out. They're way too scary. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we'll just go to the Tucson Hospital and see what's up. What we'll do is we'll, uh, so the way the bus schedule works is depending on which sign you talk to, like this one would send you to Foreside. This one sends us to, uh, Tucson. At least it should. Finally, the bus can make its full run. To Tucson, it's going to cost six dollars for the lot of you. Yep. So onward to Tucson we go. And then we could just take the bus from Tucson down to uh, the desert. It is fun to take the bus from, like, all the way from Tucson all the way to Foreside. It's a nice ride. And, of course, here there's actually a bus terminal. I don't think we went in. We may as well go in now and check it out. To get to three, the bus is most convenient. Yeah, the game, oh yeah, no question. The game has so many cool secrets. That's right, I'm a bus driver. For now, I'm resting. Life is long, take it easy, chubs. Why don't you check out your town map and learn the best area? To take the bus, or not to take the bus? <laughs> this is a little strange. You check the bus stop signs. I wonder who came up with this system. And of course, we could save in the bus station here, but we're not going to. But yeah, and, and typical for me, I end up talking to everybody. I look in a lot of nooks and crannies. Um, so I'm pretty good at finding secrets. I guess we'll find out if once I do this, it'll be like, oh yeah, I remember this now. Or if it'll be like, shit, I never did this before. And of course, now everybody's gone from the Chaos Theater. Hospitals, that way, yeah. <laughs> Probably don't have to talk to you. I'm not busy right now. Shall I explain the hospital system? No, that's okay. <laughs> Actually, I am pretty busy. Let's take a look around. My shot didn't hurt. I'm sure everyone is talking about it, but don't worry about me. Probably don't have to talk about you. No thanks. Don't need to. Yep, don't need treatment. Look. Let's see what's going on around here. Go upstairs. Talk to this guy. You look healthy, but you spent a lot of time at the hospital. My story is the same. Do you want to hear it again? No. Well, it's not important. <laughs> Obviously, we talked to that guy before. Since he offered to tell us it again. My friend who joined the Happy Happy Religion came to see me a while ago. We become friends again. Oh, that's awesome. Hey, buddy. I'm in perfect tip-top health now. I just wish I had more visitors. Cough, heck, cough, cough. Well, maybe we do need to talk to that guy and hear his story again. Let's talk to this guy. Well, let's talk about it. the same. Do you want to hear it again? Sure. Ready? I wanted to see the circus in three the next time over, but I hurt my leg in the peaceful rest valley. Okay. Well, then... Hmm. 
Remember to welcome your friends and family to Skip Cults with open arms. Yeah. All right. That's a, that's a very obscure way to do it. So instead of talking to them, I have to check. Interesting. Well, let's try. Try that again. Let's do it. Might have to. It's probably something along these lines. Try that. <laughs> uh, let's just go here. You know, I wonder if I got the insignificant item, but I never figured out what to do with it. That might be... Thank you, you've made me so happy. Okay, there we go, after my life, this is the second most important thing to me. Because you're so kind, I want to give you this magic truffle. It's a souvenir from Scaraba. Ah, and Paula got the magic truffle. Yeah, that is awesome. That is way early in the game to get a magic truffle. Wow. A dreamlike delicacy is said to grow at the base of trees in wet, muddy places. It restores about 80 side points. That is really cool to get a magic truffle this early. That really is. I mean, we, only will, we will eventually get magic truffles later, but now we've got a magic truffle. Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, could have waited to the end of the desert for that. Not not that big a deal, but yeah, to get that, to get that pretty early. That's pretty sweet. Now we go back to the bus stop and we'll head back to the desert. And hopefully we don't get our ass kicked like we did that time. Jesus. I don't think we actually need to go back to three like we did here. Yep, there's the bus. Yeah, great for... Yeah, absolutely. I'm going to be so glad I have that thing in Moonside. Yep, let's do it. And it's a shame that the uh, traffic jam won't be gone by the time we get back to it. <laughs> oh, I never used that one either. Huh. I'll certainly try do that again because I'm going to play this game again, but I will definitely look for the carrot key to use that on a cow in Happy Happy Village. Definitely. That's definitely fodder for a, for a future playthrough. <laughs> Just send another bus to the pile of. That's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> this bus continues on to Foreside. You want to get off here? No. Keep going. Damn it, while I was in Tucson, I should have done a Scargo Express. Fuck! <laughs> I don't get the Karaki yet, so could do it after the dungeon in Foreside. Hmm. Oh, I'll keep an eye open for it. I will definitely keep an eye open for that. And... Alright, let's try and do this again, this time without the gigantic oops. We may as well save. Ugh. I wonder if any of these people can actually heal me so I don't have to go. We're also running an in mister. It's 299. Yeah, let's not say. Probably for the best. Our beds are really old and dusty. Gee. Way to uh, inspire confidence there. Didn't want to do that. Try that again. Uh, try that again. Kids with heat stroke, yeah. 
Oh, I'll definitely never forget about the insignificant. So I think what happened is I found the insignificant item, but I could never figure out in previous playthroughs what to do with it. Um, yeah, I def I, cause yeah, having done that, I'm like, no, there's no way I did that. I definitely would have remembered that. Um, but I do, it, it seemed familiar. So what I think happened is I picked up the insignificant item previously and I'm like, what the fuck do I do with this thing? <laughs> And up until now, I'd never known what to do with it. So that was pretty cool. Thank you, Deep Fry. I appreciate that. Let's continue. Yeah, there's a lot of cool shit with this game. I think a lot of it I'll end up remembering. Um, you're gonna die really bad. Okay. I don't need the magic butterfly now. We already got that present. So one thing we do need to do. Yeah, right. That doesn't work. These two idiots. Annoying kids. What a group of brats. Scat, you little monsters. <laughs> we sleep in the desert, so we're often mistaken for corpses. But a corpse doesn't usually wear a bathing suit, right? <laughs> hey, stop staring at my tan lines. Go away. Nope, nope, shit. Ah, the second best RPG on the ice. You know, I don't know about that, Rob. I, I, I almost feel like... I know you're referring to Chrono Trigger. There are days where I don't know if Chrono Trigger is my favorite RPG of the SNES, or if it's this game. But yes, either way, really can't argue with that. Um, yeah, let's bash the Crested Buka. Pretty sure it's vulnerable to that. Well, let's see. Let's find out. So welcome, Rob. Open to hypnosis. Yeah, that's what I thought. Open to hypnosis really doesn't do much unless there's other shit in here. Then I'll hypno uh, hypnotize the Crested Buka and beat the shit out of everything else. There we go. The Crested Buka was defeated. One of these days I need to beat this game. Yeah, it's a great game, man. It is a great Great game. We're leaving. <laughs> We're leaving. That thing stays away. Good. That's what I was looking for. A couple life noodles. Yes, the couple life noodles is awesome. That's now what I'm looking for here. Nope, 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 nope. Shit! Ah, oh, I thought I could at least get it far enough away where we didn't have to fight both of them. All right, bash the Scalpion. Let's just bash them. They might poison us, but whatever. Oh my God, are you kidding me? There we go. How do you like it, Scalpion? That should actually take care of it. Yep. All right, so I just need a life up Ness and then Jeff. We'll take that. Of course, everything in the desert is fast. We got defense down, that's nice. Life up Ness. That's what I'm looking for here. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. I should just take the fucking skip sandwich deluxe and try and navigate this desert. Okay, now... Yeah, we'll hypnotize... Oh, but the damn thing's gonna explode, isn't it? I don't remember. I don't think the smiling sphere explodes. Okay, so that was a terrible idea. All right, so that fell asleep. We don't have to worry about that now. We'll just beat the shit out of this fine smear now. Oh, fuck. It does explode. Shit. We're screwed. I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. I'm so dumb. I'm dumb as shit. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Ah. Alright, well, at least we saved Jeff. Fuck. Alright, well. I didn't really want to use that already, but... Used a couple life noodles. Oh, 
Desert monkeys live in the desert. I mean desert, not dessert. I'm happy that there are animals in the desert, aren't you? Avoid those. Who got heat stroke? It's Paula. I'm trying to remember exactly where it is. Oh. I heard that the black sesame I used to love is somewhere in this desert. If you see him, please tell him that I still love him. <laughs> it's no bigger. You'll get heat. Uh, yeah, it's not a biggie. It, you'll get heat stroke uh, eventually. It's inevitable. So I need to find that eventually. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. What I would like to do. Let's see what this is. Ah, yeah. Dusty Dunes headquarters for finding buried gold. <laughs> These guys. This hole's great. Good hole. Good hole. Good hole. <laughs> First, someone asked me to dig for buried gold. I began to feel like it was obligated to find it. Man, am I starving? Do you have any food you can spare? Yes. We need to give this guy food. Uh, we'll give him a skip sandwich. Thank you. I'll find the gold. If I find the gold, I'll give it to you. <laughs> so that was important. We needed to do that. I had actually forgotten about that. Yeah, this dude. It's a small house, but please stay the night. We can stay the night here for free now. That's good. We'll save. Dad. And then see if I can go up and get the uh, contact lens that's just sitting in the desert. I used to be able to just go right to it, but it's been so long. I don't really remember where the contact lens is. But it should be north of us. It should be directly north. Our current position. It'd really be nice if I had a fucking map. Oh, no, no. We're not going anywhere near that buffalo. That thing is mean. Oop. No, no, no. Fuck. God damn it. Stupid ass thing. Pretty sure it's vulnerable to paralysis, though. Spy on the bad buffalo. But I think the bad buffalo is weak to paralysis. Yep, vulnerable to paralysis. I did remember it. Cool, it's done. Now we can just beat the shit out of the crested buka. Because it only has physical attacks. That should be enough out of the Crested Buka. Now we just auto. <laughs> we win. But yeah, that buffalo could do a shit ton of damage to you. So it's good that it's vulnerable to paralysis. That really does make it a lot easier. Jesus, that thing gores the shit out of you. Oh no, there's so many of them. No! No! I just want the contact lens! But at least we'll get this out of the way faster. It's numb now. We can go through this. I love turn-based games, man. They are definitely my favorite type of RPG. I was, I don't know. I mean, there's some really good RPGs that are action oriented, but man, there is nothing to me more fun than these where it's very strategic and tactical. So this is where the buffalo roam, yes, <laughs> but no longer. I mean, at least we're getting some decent XP while we're running around looking for the stupid contact lens. And it's around the right part of it. I really should be. Oh, God damn. Oh. oh, come on. Stop being over there. All right, I'll get this card test. And we'll take the side caramel, but... Oh, no. Inch over. I lost a pair of contact lenses here in the Dusty Tunes Desert. They were a memento from my grandma and very important to me. If you find them, bring them to me I'll give you a reward. I'm Penatella Giovanni. Find me at the Foresight Bakery, second floor. They're out here somewhere. Who's got it? 
Jeff this time. And if not, healing Alpha kind of cures it. But I don't think it was all that far away from the sign. I don't really remember where it is, though. I can talk to Lonely out here in the desert. Oh, shit, 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 shit. No! God damn it. Fine. <laughs> yeah, of course it's... Oh, that sucks so much. Oh, but it didn't get to us. Thank goodness. All right, so we got the cute little UFO, and we got the Skelpion. Let's just bash the Skelpion first. Yeah, let's bash the Skelpion first, because it can poison us. Really wish I could remember where the damn contact lens is. I mean, you could spot it. It's this little white dot. We were somewhere around Barstow on the edge of the desert when the drugs began to take hold. <laughs> Welcome back, Freakbot. I still have to figure out what I'm doing for food. All right, well, we got some, got some XP here. Away from that thing, for sure. There it is. Ness spotted something shiny. It was a set of contact lenses. I've got the contact lenses. Good. Now we get the hell out of here. Trying to avoid... Alright, fine. Lone buffalo? Sure, we'll paralyze it and get some XP. I wouldn't wear those. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I wouldn't either. <laughs> Good old bad buffalo here. Auto win! I'd love to tell the lady that we return them to that they're uh, not great either, but... It just takes a while. Can you imagine how much... Like, how much that thing can hurt you? Now we're going to go in here, rest up, and now we can leave and get on to Foresight already. Let's stay like that. Yes. Yes, we shall. Most excellent. Nice. Finally getting a little, uh, little dim out there. I could open my window. Next time I happen to grab, uh, get up for an extra glass of water. Actually, Freakbot will be starting pretty soon. And voila! We have now reached the end of this shit. We could just walk to Foreside. But, um... You know what? Fuck it. Let's just walk to Foreside. <laughs> We've come this far. Let's just walk there. The traffic jam got cleared up. And now... Foreside's music starts. I do enjoy Foreside's music a lot. Hello, it's your dad. You've been out there for a long time. Don't pay me none of my business. But, uh, do you think it would be a good idea if you took a break because you've been playing for so long? <laughs> you should find a place to stay at the nearest town. When you get to the hotel, you should have given your dad a call. I meant to hit no, but whatever. Although maybe that's a sign that we should just, uh, you know, get ready to sort of wind this down a little bit. And then we'll do uh, foresight all at once. Get kind of into the foresight mode. But we will go to um, the bakery and cash in those sun contact lenses. And now we've reached Foreside. Good old uh, Metropolis, metropolitan area. Foreside is a really cool place. The department store, a gigantic freaking building. Yeah, this place is cool as hell. The city of Foreside has developed quite a bit since Mr. Uh, Geldegard Monatoli hit the big time. It's been good for the city. Here's a four-side hotel. It's a little expensive. Just, oh, God damn it. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll fight the fucking taxi. Prepping for stream now, going live in 13 minutes. Nice. So one of the weirder ones, we could paralyze the taxi. I don't know why that works, but it does. <laughs> this works almost every time. win 
<laughs> now, why a taxi gets paralyzed, I have no idea. Oh, and Jeff just stopped crying. I didn't realize that would wear off after a while. Nice. <laughs> the taxi was totally scrapped. That's enough out of you, buddy. Oh, God damn it, really? I don't remember constantly getting accosted by freaking violent people. The annoying reveler. Yeah, let's just beat the shit out of this guy. Well, let's spy on him. Let's see what he's vulnerable to. Ow, you really hit me. Damn, man. He's not weak to anything. Let's see if Paula can get her get him down. Oh, alright. Just don't hit. Thank you. <sighs> That's the always the little nervous part. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> If he hits Paula, she dies. It's like, uh. But yeah, I mean, it only takes one hit and she's like vulnerable. Planning meeting for Earthbound 2. <laughs> only those who are related to this project are allowed to enter. Ape software development team. Let's see, where am I? Uh. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, that's that was the thing I was looking for there. So the bakery's up this way. Let's head up to the bakery. Obviously the bakery's not listed on there, but the bakery is up here somewhere. I thought the bakery was up here. So this is the cafe. We're gonna need to come in here at some point. Let's see what's in the cafe right now. Hmm. <laughs> Please talk to an order game without me. I've no information or items to help you out. Don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere here. By the way, let me quiz you. Here are five apples. If you eat one, how many are left? So four is left. That's not funny. Now, here's another one. Master Pokey's made Electra is made to order. Oh, puns aren't funny either, but now we find out Pokey's here. Kids shouldn't be drinking espresso. You shouldn't be hanging around here. What? Mr. Renatoli's here? You had that wrong, kid. <laughs> Bakery is up this way somewhere. Oh. Maybe it's up. Shit, maybe it's around this way. I thought the bakery was up in the northwest of town. But maybe it was. Just a chunk shop busted up, located in the back alley of the department store. Here's the park. I don't get it. I heard the guy who looks like Monatoli has been hanging out at Jackie's Cafe. You know, the totally unpopular place. Very quietly goes in and out. So we're getting a better sense of things here. Here's the Dinosaur Museum. This place is neat. Yeah, oh, fine. I'll talk to you, sure. Why haven't those guys digging for buried gold? If they found the gold, it would be a huge amount of money. They'd be able to pay off a million dollar debt very easily. If I were them, I'd go to Japan and live it up. <laughs> Here's the Topola Theater. Melon fish doom lore. <laughs> You want to buy a ticket? Nah, I'm alright. But, uh, yeah, the Runaway Five are playing here at the Topola. We'll find that out later. The Runaway Five from Tucson seem very popular. I heard that the Topola Theater is always full. Say, we could just buy a ticket and see them again. If not. Where the hell is this bakery, and why can't I remember where it is? Second floor of the bakery. Am I just dumb as hell? I really thought the bakery was in the northwest part of town. Well, that's all right. We'll explore and we'll get the lay of the land here. I'm more of a fan of Venus myself. A lot of people are more of a fan of Venus. Where is this bakery? There we go. Here's the bakery. First floor, four side bakery. Second floor, two off the bakery. There we go. Perfect. So we could actually shop at the bakery. Bread in this town has very plain, nondescript flavor to it. To tell you the truth, I'm the owner of this bakery. <laughs> Uh, hey dude, see there's a tight there's a tight wad born every minute. What? You came to deliver my grandma's memento, the contact lens. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's our family tradition to keep things forever. Okay, I'll give you something as a reward. Here's my socks that I use only for special occasions. I've worn these socks for just five years. There are no holes, and they've only been worn once since the last washing. 
They stink a little, but they're still good. Hey, don't refuse me here. I'm being generous. Jeff got the pair of dirty socks. Please get you a pair of my socks. <laughs> yeah, those, uh, those socks could be useful. I don't remember how. When used during battle, the enemy gets so nauseous from the ripe odor they cannot fight. Gone after one use. So good for like a boss battle. <laughs> We're a long line of hoarders. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh my god. All right. So now we could call Escargo Express. Goddamn, and get rid of some of these items that I don't need. And then by then, Freakbot will be ready to start. We can just raid out to him. Hello, this is Cigar Express. Hey, it's me, Drazy. Blah, blah, blah. Yes, for the love of God, please pick this shit up, finally. For the love of God, please pick this shit up. Come on, extra storage. Delivery charge is 18. You can cover the bill, right? Yes. What do you want me to take? I could take up to three things. All right. Let's see. Well, I need to keep the receiver phone because that is plot important. So unfortunately, I cannot get rid of that. And I still need to hang on to the pencil eraser for a little while longer. But... don't need the picture postcard anymore. No. Take the backstage. Pass. Yes. Let's see, what other stupid thing? Yeah, we. I don't need a, a fucking ruler of the projector. You won't let me get rid of it, so there we go. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you need that for anything else. Uh, there's one more... There's technically one more of those that you do a race later. You don't really need it. You'd end up just going around, but I'll, I'll just keep it until we erase that one and then I'll store it. You want me to take the picture postcard, the backstage pass, and the protractor? Yes, they're useless items. I never need them again. Perfect. All right. So at this point, we got the Runaway 5 playing at the Topola. I know this, this, uh, yeah, she, he thinks that the Venus is very bonkers about her. And I love the, uh, I love New York shirt. Although I think it's FS, the four side, but it's blatantly New York. Come on, look forward so we can see it. Please look forward so we, yep, there it is. I love four side. <laughs> oh, I mean, the, yeah, the fly honey definitely is not something that we need anymore. I could definitely get rid of that, too. You boys are sneaking around looking for Mr. Monotoli, aren't you? If I catch you boys doing anything, I'll arrest you. No questions asked. Be prepared. Got it, Ness? Haha. <laughs> I already checked out your name. Doofus. So there's the hospital. We could go to the department store. Uh, there's food over there. So let's just cruise down to the Monotoli building. Hello, babyface. What brings you to the Monotoli building? I don't think they'll let us up. But they might. This elevator's only for Master Pokey's use. It goes directly to the 40th, 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead of behind me? We know what she actually said there. <laughs> violence. Lots of violence. <laughs> Let's get off here. Are you a friend of Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with a machine gun. I was almost about to beat you up. Yeah, I don't think they'll... Yeah, private elevator, not for operation by the general public. Can't go in there yet. <laughs> Hopefully violence against Pokey, right? This guy's such a douche nozzle. Ooh la la! This is my poor old friend. Oh, what's your name? Pig's butt. No, no, Ness. Didn't you come here to beg me for some money? Ooh la la, don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey, get it? I'm now Geldarar, Geldagar, 
Deldegard Monotoli's partner. And I give him political and economic advice. Why the fuck would anybody take political or economic advice from you, you asshole? What? Did I say that loud? I heard there were some ratty-looking kids asking for Mr. Monotoli. Was that you, Ness? This isn't a place for the likes of you. Get out of here. Now, loser. And they uh, politely escort us out of here. His mouth no longer looks like an anus. <laughs> yeah. He is such a douchebag. You must never show your face around Master Pokey. You got that? So basically, there's no point to ever go in there. They just kick you out instantly. Here's his dad, who's not much better. You haven't changed much, Ness. I'm an oldest minch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has his day. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, my John's time. <laughs> so you could see the uh, apple uh, doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> Aloysius. <laughs> Right? Like Ted's uh, middle name in uh, Hey Dude. Ted Aloysius. Celebrator's going down. Look, don't stand behind me and stare at my ass. <laughs> yeah, I do need to figure out what the hell I'm doing for food. I might just go up to Publix and get a uh, chicken tender sub. That's sounding like a good plan right about now. But yeah, I think I'm going to cruise over to the hotel. This is a good spot to stop because we've basically just taken a look around Foreside. We got the one item for the contact lens. We've gained some XP. Because now the further we get in here, I mean, we could go to the department store and buy some money, but the department store is where the plot somewhat thickens a little bit. Gotcha. All right, we'll raid out to you in a couple of minutes. And depending on when you're starting, I may, like, just raid out now. Perfect timing. Yeah, let's just withdraw 500 bucks. There we go. Perfect. Saves me a click. Yeah, right? It's perfect timing. I wasn't originally going to stop streaming now. I was just going to keep playing for a little while. But uh, I am getting hungry. And this is kind of an intuitive stopping point, really. Because now once we get into Foresight, that rabbit hole just goes right down. We should have a bunch in the bank. Yep, we know. Oh, we know. Roll record. Yeah, we'll do that because we may still want to stay the night. Yeah, we'll stay. Yes, we'll do that. Actually, I meant to do that and then save. But we'll get the uh, newspaper headline. We'll talk to one other person. Let's get them. Good morning. This is a unique service exclusive to our hotel only. I'm here to read you today's headline. On the front page of the Foresight Post, over 70% of Foresight citizens support Monotoli. Man, I would... <laughs> if somebody was looking for me, tell her, hi. Anyway, I don't think a woman like that would be looking for me. <laughs> I love the, co the, the, the comments of this. The other 30% remain missing. <laughs> yeah, right? That's the only explanation for that. All right, so now we'll save. All right. Great record adventure, good night, and end. We're a great team, aren't we? Well, you should turn the power off instead of just pressing reset, all right? And now the game hangs. So that's it for that. Let's cruise over to ending stream. We'll see if Freakbot's actually fired up yet. He might still be in the uh, opening screen. So we'll take a quick look here. Take a quick gander. What's going on? See what's up. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, he literally is already on. So yeah, let's just raid out, and then I will get some food, and life is going to be good. So, uh, why well, thank you, Deep Fry. I appreciate it. Uh, and I will see uh, anybody who wishes to attend uh, tomorrow night for East Oath of Filgana, where I start to, uh, to rescale the clock tower and maybe get to the end of the game. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen or if that's in the cards or not, but man... I'm going to try. So I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Onward to Withering Rooms for uh, Freakbot here. And um, yeah, without any further ado, there's no need to like whittle away at this. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing for food, but um, in any event, everyone, until next time, I will see you all approximately later.